on, so audio's on now. Woo! All right. Are we, what, what? is, oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> are we, are we, are we up and going with this, this Now thing? we are. We're up, we're up. You should be. We're going live. Can people, can people say yes? Uh, there you are. Yay! Yay! All right. Yay! Okay. There's a second delay. There's this. Okay. There's a delay. Gotcha. All right. Well, hello, guys. Um, welcome to our Emma approved live stream. We wanted to do something to thank you guys for all of your love and support and uh, just overall coolness. So, uh, without further ado, let's introduce some cast members. Um, you may remember her from her role as Harriet Smith on the show Emma Proof. Uh, <laughs> let's welcome Dan Hutton! Woo! Thank you! Come sit! Come sit! Come sit! Hi! Hi! Oh, look, okay, look, let's see. Hi, can you see all the things and stuff? Yeah! <laughs> Audio is very awesome. Cool. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the show. You um, are here. I'm here. I, they said to be super casual, and obviously, like, this is going to take a hot second for me. <laughs> <laughs> just, just act natural. Act natural. Okay, thanks. Right. Um, so, how are you, Day? I'm doing great. How yeah. about you? Good. How was your experience on Emma Group? Um, fabulous. Fantastic. <laughs> that, that's all. Does that count? Yeah, that's good. So, I mean, it, I mean... Both times. Yes, <laughs> yes. Wonderful experiences. Um, so grateful for all of it and all of you guys. I don't know which camera to look No, at. you're, yeah. Um, one of the, somebody says, Catherine says, those glasses are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. You guys look cute. Thank you. You look cute too. All right. Um, let's see. Do you have any questions for Dan we, while, while she's here before you kick her out? <laughs> uh, kick me out. What was one of your favorite experiences this season of Emma Group? One of my favorite um, probably getting to accidentally hit you. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was a really, that was a crazy episode. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Oh, somebody else just walked in. Nah, oh. Sandwich Man. The, uh, Mrs. Sandwich Man. <laughs> oh, geez. Do you want to say anything before we bring this man in? No, I'm good. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The one and only Mr. Nelly Bendaley! What do you want to say? He's an Hi! Oh, hi! 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 I'll say it. Hi! Oh, gosh. Hello. We're, uh, we just, we literally just started. We were saying, um... Oh, look, there's a delay. You can see me do the awkward hug. Oh, wow. Look at that. There it is. Butt to cam. Butt cam. That's awesome. Um, so we were just thanking the fans for watching the show, watching this past reboot, and... Yeah, do you want to say anything? Uh, I just got here. Yeah, because he was late. I went to Jersey Mike's and they took a really long time, but they tried hard. <laughs> they tried hard. Uh, yes, they did. Is that their motto? <laughs> they, they tried hard. They tried hard, I guess so. I yeah. uh, but no, uh, the same thing. Uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. Uh, it was amazing to do the first time. It was super fun to do the next time. And <laughs> the next time, yeah. Hopefully we get to do more stuff for you guys soon. Yeah, it, it probably won't be, unfortunately... Emma approved. No, probably things. not. No, but... Um, but us as people hope to do things in general, yeah. that you can watch. <laughs> yeah. So, do you guys have, uh, well, so I just asked Day this, um, so I'll ask you this. What yes. was one of your favorite experiences on the reboot of Emma Approved? Ooh, that is a good question. What was your least favorite? What did you hate the most <laughs> about working on the show? <laughs> the end. Um, oh, uh, okay. No. Uh, gosh, I, I enjoyed, I mean, it was, it was all very quick, because yeah. mm -hmm. we only did one, one actual, I guess, shoot. Mm -hmm. so, For the second time. Yeah, for the second time. Like so for the, well, I mean, what are we talking about? Any, any of it, any of it. Oh, she said reboot. Mm. You, can, you can talk, I mean, you guys are just so super casual. Uh, <laughs> no, Just I, like the I mean, yeah, the, the first one was so long ago, that's almost like hard to remember. Like, first, like, yeah. It was like five years ago? Oh, it was five years ago. Yeah. Oh, so some people don't know that. Yes, it is in fact done, done. unfortunately. <laughs> um, oh. And yeah, some people didn't know that. So I'm glad we <laughs> used you into that news. Yeah, yeah, yeah. real gentle. You're yeah. welcome. That's why I was late. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's why he my was. favorite moment was uh, probably just the 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 scene on the balcony where we got to see like 
which I guess is sort of sad now in hindsight. But oh, well, that's a sweet send off. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I liked it. Yeah. Well, it was like Alex and Emma were just happy and like, all right, what is going to be our next adventure? Which is good because it kind of catapults us all into our yeah. next adventure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you guys have any questions for either Day or um, this man or Joe? She oh yeah, only two. Answer questions too. She was on the show. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, one of my favorite things about doing this reboot was just. Well, first off, Max Maxwell Glick, having him on the show was amazing. He's so, so funny and so hardworking, and it was just like such a blast to have him be neurotic. <laughs> um, Ari, someone was asking, done for good. A oh, heartbreak emoji. Um, but on a happier note, the beard took. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I think somebody asked. Oh, oh, oh. I checked another beard. Um, I, I don't know. Nice That's a happier great question. note. I always have a little bit of facial hair, so this okay. is probably like a month mm. for whoever that was. Mm -hmm. I like that this is so far that we have to do this. I think you're right. You can, pretty you can bless it also, one more time. Oh, this <laughs> right <laughs> Damn it, good call. Oh, that's perfect. Thanks, Bernie. Oh, oh, oh wow. There we perfect, go. Perfect, perfect. All right. Well, um, please send us like all of your questions. And if you guys see any questions that we're missing, too, like, let us know. Where are we located? We're in Los, Los, Los Angeles, Angeles, California. California. Um, I've seen a few questions for like new individual projects that people are working on. Okay. How about you? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I currently have a pilot that um, didn't get picked up by ABC that I would love someone else to pick up. There you go. <laughs> didn't you? Don't you do Twitch? Oh yeah, I do do that. <laughs> I've been thinking like of like new acting projects. Um, I stream three times a week on Twitch. I stream video games, variety streamer. Um, occasionally do other random things. Like I did a cooking stream a few weeks ago. That was weird, but fun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I stream at, at Abraham underscore Lincoln. So I love that name. Similar to my Instagram name. Ding! I don't know. No, so, uh, <laughs> what's going on for you? Oh no, if Joanna cries, then I'm going to cry. Are you going to cry? I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, those are projects for me. Um, not crying, I'm going to do the basics. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Is that what these are for? Were you crying already? No, no, no. So I, so get this. <laughs> I... My sister broke my nose when I was 12, because right. I tried to wake her up. <laughs> of course, that's a reasonable reaction. And so she cracked me in the nose, and then I had to get it fixed. But since then, I've had a chronic runny nose. Yes. So it's been running my, like... Well, I knew that. I just thought maybe the, the tears joke was a real joke. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotcha. It's not. This is just normal snot. Yes. <laughs> this is this is filled yeah. with my nose. Yes. So. Perfect. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Upcoming projects, you asked. Yes, and what else other than the snot chronic? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm working, um, doing a fun new project with Wang Fu coming oh, up. Oh, yay. Yeah, I love working with those guys. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> just like, oh, my mom is texting. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's texting. Uh, oh, are you ready? Yeah. Right. Um. So that was, those are my projects. Um, and I'm sticking to them. What's up, Bernie? Hey, don't mind me. Keep on. Bernie Sue, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not on the camera yet. There he is. I'm making your experience better. <laughs> Bernie Sue. Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. Um, I just got done doing a new show for DC called Doom Patrol. Yay! Yay! Uh, yay. Which is very exciting. It's going to be available on the DC app, and I think it premieres in April. Maybe. Does anybody know? April, I think so. Right? March, April, somewhere around there. Uh, but it should be really fun. It's the show that's going to follow Titans, which is currently on the DC app. Cool. Yeah, and I got some more commercials that are playing. Of course, you commercial came over here. I don't remember what else. Uh, I have a couple movies that are in post, but I know I have no idea when they're coming out. I have a couple movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Sue, ladies and gentlemen. Bernie Sue. Bernie should never show your face once. Amazing <laughs> <laughs> you. You should just Can you see his hands? Negative man. Yeah, yeah, negative man was there. Alright, let's see. There you go. Um, right. well, you have a chat with Bernie. Do you want to bring on a next <laughs> yeah. guest? Do it, do it! Should we see if anybody can guess who it will be? Yeah! Oh, yeah. Who do we have? You probably won't even think of uh, <laughs> 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 You can even hear you. You can hence. Yeah, you can hear okay, you. Okay, um... Uh, she was in season one of Emma Brew. <laughs> <Zero Yeah. dollars. laughs> uh, Max. And it's a woman. It's not B-Mart. 
She. You said it's, she. So yeah, it's no, a she. I'm looking. Look, it's not B Mart. Nope, it's not B Mart. <laughs> uh, very. Uh, nope, still not B Mart. No. You said box. It's not Hotel? and yeah, she uh, box hill was a big no. moment for this this wonderful. Like that was a definite giveaway. Okay. Well, it's not be Mark. Still not be Mark. You're gonna guess every single thing. Jeans no, 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 closer. No, 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 no. Maddie. Oh, yeah. 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 This is Maddie Bates, the one and only. Yay! 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 She loved Emma. Oh, I think um, mm-hmm. that was my favorite thing, and she just wanted her approval so much, and she just wanted to be like her friend, and she felt like she was another niece, and she didn't really know that she didn't think she was that's another so niece. <laughs> oh, that's like, that's, that was a, that was like yeah, that was a real that box hill episode was really it was really yeah. well. It, actually, I think that was one of my like favorite episodes because mm. we got a chance to like really show each other. How much we meant to each other. Yeah. As far as Maddie and Emma are concerned. Yeah. So yeah. I really, I really enjoyed that. That was a sweet. Yeah. Moment. That was a sweet. Moment. You, you were one of my days. <laughs> you. We're so happy to have you. I missed yeah. the show. So I much. know. It's true. <laughs> and again, guys, thank you so much for watching that season, this season. Thank you for your support, your tweets, your comments, your likes. Like that is just we. I know we read almost every single comment. I did actually try to make the jam one time, <laughs> and I was going to bring it the um, pajama net. <laughs> and I was gonna bring it to you guys, but it tasted so bad. Ah! Yeah, let's bring it. And I see. actually really realized that I don't know how to make jams. So what do you do? So I uh, threw it away. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have to have like that consistency yeah. of like um, Jello. So you're supposed to get um, this flour that kind of gels or whatever. And I think I didn't do enough. And then I was just trying to figure out how to make a jam, period. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was, But it was a long time ago. So I was just trying to like, oh, okay, I, this is how you make a jam. And then I was, but you don't know how much to put. Because who makes pajama nib? So what? So pajama nib was peach, peach, peach guava. And parsley. And par, uh, uh, no. Um, what was turnip. it, guys? Do you remember? Turnip. Ooh, turnip. Turnip. Because it mixed with something turn up. Oh, no. Oh, just a Because that was it's turn up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, because of the show, I read the book, Emma, and y'all did a wonderful adaptation. Thank, oh, thank you. you so much, Emily. We, uh, think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody asked, um, what, do you, what do you see yourself in five years? I remember someone, oh. I don't know who said it, but I saw it when I was back there waiting. Ooh. Oh, that's a what question. Do you, what do you see yourself doing in five years? Uh, working-wise or personally? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I guess working-wise, maybe? 
Okay, let's working do more wise, uh, the goal would be is it? Yeah. Somewhere in a uh, Los Angeles sitcom, mm -hmm. um, with a personal life. Uh, I, probably, I love my life, so probably exactly where I am right now. Mm -hmm. Just older. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I think my, my ultimate goal would be TV sitcom. Does it, you have one in mind that you'd like to be on, or that you? Uh, I mean, if like, <laughs> are you laughing? Are you laughing? No, I mean, like, I would love to do a show like that was on like Freeform, like a, like a Baby Daddy, or um, or I mean, if they were, if they could somehow right. like, like, bring back like Friends, and be, like, oh shows. yeah, okay. I love, I absolutely love Friends, and so that yeah. would be an amazing show if they could somehow bring. It just hasn't seemed to work yet, where they. Get, like just a group of people sitting around. They call it buddies. They call it buddies. Hey guys. Hey guys. Yeah. Hey. Actually, I think they tried to do one too called like something like that. Right after Friends. Yeah. yeah. I think they tried to do it multiple times. It just never really. How many Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. Yeah. How, how many Mothers? Great. How I love How I was on How Many Mothers. We really? Yeah. That was my first job like after I got my manager. I mean, my other manager. What would what, you play in the show? Um, I was a hostess and I had one line and it was. <gasps> Just a dude. Oh! Booked it. All right. Well done. Did that. <laughs> Hi, Chris. <laughs> Hi, Chris. Hi. Everybody was asking, how did you, what did you, did you have to audition? I was like, yes. I had the yes. best <laughs> just the two of you audition ever. That's awesome. That's Where are you going to be in five years? Um, no, I... <laughs> You're going to colonize Mars? I'm going to colonize Mars. I'm going to do it. First live stream from Mars? Yeah. Hi, guys. What's up? It's Jeff from Mars. Um... <laughs> I would love to be on a series as well, but like a like a cool Stranger Things mm. sort of a thing, or Let's like an. On that new Netflix show called You. I heard about that. It's so good. You'd be great on that show. Why? Is that about like it's a like stalker? suspense thriller? Oh, okay. Okay. It's like a. Like Is that about serial killer? Yep. Yeah, but you uh, pen bag. Well, I don't know. There's less spoilers. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, just, yeah, Does anybody watch you yeah, up there? It's Dexter mixed with. Oh, that's uh, weird. Bernie, quiet on that. So sorry, guys. It's fake. Bernie, see you, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, I, love, I would love to be on a show like Arrested Development. Like I love oh, characters that are so flawed and mm. so into themselves and have no idea. Like that would be. That would be. Yeah. What are some nerdy things you like to do? Says Emily. Oh, well, Dave can answer. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Dave, the nerd Dave, stuff. Dave, the, ner Day, the nerd stuff. Nerd stuff, over to you, Dave. And now back to Dave with the nerds. <laughs> um, well, like previously mentioned, I do stream video <laughs> games on Twitch. Um, I try and have as much Harry Potter in my life as possible at all times. Um, have you been to that New York show, the Harry Potter thing, where it's like an experience and it's like eight hours long? You mean huh? Harry Potter and the First Child? The, the, <laughs> the play? Yeah. Have yes, you it? I have. I heard it's incredible. You said twice? She went to London. She like, I'm sorry, I've seen it three times. Should I have seen this because of social media? Probably. I've seen it three times. I just like, you know, that interactive thing, and she's like, a play? I thought it was more than just like a normal play. I thought that was like a gimmick to it. Clearly, I don't watch there's, her anymore. I mean, there's, like, magic on stage, right. which is really cool. Well, is there magic like, like, dinner and stuff, though, too? No, and it's not. Do they just break for dinner? Medieval times. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, there's, like, two... And then they fight each other. <laughs> 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 I would watch that. I'm Listen, I'm saying really new not... medieval times, but Harry Potter. I would, would go. I would go. go. No, I would be there. there. Yeah. I would be in it. I do nerdy things. Yeah. What's your nerdy thing? What's your nerdy thing? I love anything that has to do with Star Wars. That's pretty good. That's good. Like... Uh, although, I will say, and people will probably, like, stab me in the heart for this, <laughs> but uh, Star Wars was not my favorite movie. The, um, I huh? Return, of, Return of the Jedi was my favorite movie of the Star Wars. And I got to work on the reboot. Of, <gasps> I worked at uh, 20th so Century good. Fox, and I got to work on the re no the reboot of all the, all the movies. Gotcha. So we, I have a lot of like weird kind of posters and things cool. from, that, from the, the reboot edition. And also, so I do watch, I, I will, even though some of them are kind of whatever, I will watch every solo, la la la, blah blah blah, that comes out because I You're love a fan? George Lucas. Mm. You're a fan? That's yeah. nice. That's pretty nice. And in my dreams, I want to, um, well, he's already got a wife, but I wanted to marry George Lucas. Hey, That's you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I can play with a Wookiee. Ah! Nice. So is that you, you 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He walks are my favorite. He walks are so cute. They yeah. can take down the whole just yeah. empire. Whatever. Um. Whatever so is that what you see yourself in five years? Hang no, 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 no. <laughs> five years. Um. I see myself. Uh. With a per. Uh, with, with a person. A very, <laughs> with a very large production company. Doing yes. A lot of films. Yes. Uh, All right. Starring myself. Um. Probably writing a book about my life because it's been interesting. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I've. I've been uh, a little Jobish, yes, like the guy in the Bible. Um, <laughs> I was thinking of Rest Development again. I was like, yeah, he's weird. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm going to do a little one more show called Jobish. The ah. guy in the Bible. Because, uh-huh. um, geez, uh, if I told you, you, you it would take an hour or five. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, and also, um, um, probably, like, never here and making millions of dollars. Awesome. So, yeah, that's what I see myself doing. Five years. But I would, like, like, currently, I would like to have my own show. Uh, a sitcom. Nice. Uh, so we should be on the same show. Yes. Because I'm happy if it's yours. Please, and I'll please and thank you. Please and thank you. Well, we could be an interracial couple. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I know. That's the new hotness. Let's do it. That's awesome. <laughs> Amazing. Somebody said something about if you like Harry Potter, you got to check out Always Lily on YouTube. Always oh, right. Lily. Always Lily. You need to see Puffs in. New I've York seen City. it. It's real great. Oh, Puffs. Puffs, great. Puffs, See, Puffs, Puffs, Puffs the Magic Dragon. No. No. It's, it's about the Hufflepuffs during mm. Harry Potter's seven years, but it's like told from their perspective. The Hufflepuffs? Yeah. God bless them. <laughs> it's so God good. bless their little house. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Oh, someone said, um, what other literary pe- people would you like to play? Literary persons. Sailor Moon. Oh, she's not some literary. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's uh, some, I'm like, mangas or something um, I've heard at this point. Yeah. <laughs> if I was younger, I would love to play the character, like, from Forever by Judy Bloom. <laughs> what was her name? I don't know. I don't know Judy Bloom. <laughs> I got to play Christopher, Are you Christopher kidding? Robin for a short How time. How old am I? It's like, you don't know right. Judy Bloom? I, don't I know Judy Bloom, but I don't remember that character. Do you guys know Judy Bloom? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm very old. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm older than all of you, apparently, because if you don't know forever about Judy Bloom, like, that was the Twilight. Remote. Guys, Judy Bloom, ladies. ladies. I read a lot of Judy Bloom. Don't worry, I just didn't read that one. <laughs> My brain is going to explode. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I love you. <laughs> I'm so old. Judy Bloom, thank, thank you. Judy thank you. All right. Thank you, people. Judy Bloom, These two just don't read a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my defense, I can't. <laughs> And so do you know? Do you know what's happening to me? God, what's happening to me is me. Oh, are, uh, are you there, guys? Are you, yeah, my heart. God, did you say what's happening to me? What's happening to me? God, Margaret, it's Margaret. What's happening to me? Help! 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 Um, I mean, I feel like it's all similar. I mean, being on a show would be amazing. Just like being in LA, it's like, it's nice. It's like, it's, it's, a, it's a nice goal for mm-hmm. that's all that I have. But I, I don't know, five years, I need to be in the Harry Potter franchise somehow. Yeah. So, you know, I can't, I can't believe you're not. I can't believe it either. either. Like, I, I mean, what is this? Like, well, how many more ghost, ghosts and goblins do they have coming out? Like, I don't know. There's, there are movies. three more Fantastic Beasts <laughs> movies coming <laughs> out, so... <laughs> Come on. There's three more coming out? Yeah, there's five. Well, have a five. chance. I know, I have a chance. I have a chance. Five total. Mm-hmm. I just need, need more New York face. Help her, guys. Help, help her, guys. Help, help me, God. God. I need to be in Harry Potter. Oh, what to me? What's happening to me, God? It's day. All right. It's day. Yeah. I brought, I brought some me. games. Oh, did you really? I did. I also well, brought that sandwich that I've been thinking about. <laughs> well, why don't you go eat your sandwich? We'll switch out real quick. Yeah, who are you switching out with? Who wants to come? Anyone want to come say hi? No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> I'll do it. Jesse! Ladies and gentlemen, hey. one of the helpful hands that made this video work. Hello! Hi, hi, hi. Keep going. This is very nerve wracking, I'm not gonna lie. Is it really? A little bit. So, this is good. It's good to face your fears. Yeah. I'm just kidding, I hate facing my fears. I'm like, no. So, um, talk, talk to us about your, tell everybody about your experience on this, this review. What did you do? Like, yes, yeah, so people sure. know what you Hi, guys. My name is Jesse. Um, I came in for the second season, so for the reboot of Emma, and I was one of the co-producers. Yeah. And my co-producer will also hopefully come out here soon too. Um, <laughs> we'll make room for you guys. I can leave. No, <laughs> 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 we're all done a switch. Mm-hmm. So yeah, um, pretty much what we did was we just helped you guys realize the reboot. We were here to just support yeah. what 
you and Brent and what Bernie and what everybody wanted to create. That's awesome. What was your, um, how did you hear about Kimberly Digital? I, so I actually watched the show, I don't want to sound dated anybody, but I watched the show <laughs> in high school. Oh, gosh. <laughs> See, you just do any blue over here. <laughs> Not to make things worse. I'm sorry. <laughs> She was just saying, you watched it in high I did watch it in high school. It's been like almost six years. Has it been now? Okay, you got it. High school! It is not 2019. It's been like six years since high school. So I just graduated college like a year ago. I'm 12. I have to go. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. I'm leaving this in I'm just scaring off the guests. So so you watched it in high school? I did. I followed it. So I followed Pemberley on all the social medias, and then when uh, I saw that they were looking for assistance for a Pemberley project, unnamed, I sent an email. Yeah. And I got to come in and meet with Bernie. That's awesome. And it just worked out. Bernie Sue. 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 Bernie what was the goal? I, I said if, if enough people comment, Bernie will come on camera. Oh yes, Bernie too. Well, who's gonna switch the camera back and forth? We need that. I know. Hey, <laughs> so, <laughs> we have chairs or producers. So, see, was this your first time producing oh. anything, or, or as a as a producer? Yeah, this was my first time producing. I worked as a coordinator for a while, mm -hmm. but this was the first like big project I got to take on, and yes. I was so happy it was this one. I felt very full circle. College yeah. Last year. <laughs> 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 the year's no, I was the show. The I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have other people who also watched the show uh, in high school as well. Yeah. You're not alone, Jesse. Listen, people. Thank you, guys. You don't have to make me feel old. That's <laughs> fine. Uh, well, would, would any of our other lovely producers like to come on and say hi? Thank you. Yay! Yay! Rachel is going. Come down. Come sit. Come sit. Thank you. Oh, I missed. I tissue at Brent Bailey because he was making noise and he ate a sandwich. It did. It didn't go very far. Yeah, <laughs> so there's a little bit for nice. you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Rachel, hi. Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain to everybody who you are and what your ish is? <laughs> your ish, specifically. Yes. Um, hi, I'm Rachel Williams. Woo! I'm also the other co-producer on the reboot of Emma. Yeah. What Was this the first thing that you ever produced? Um, first thing where I was actually a full producer. I mean, mm -hmm. I thought things were like stage managing and, and assisting. But this is my first time I was like, the actual credit. So ah, it, was, it was fun. It was a great experience. How do you compare this to like uh, stage managing? Because you have a, a lot of people running around. More. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, just a lot more of, you know, especially when you're doing stage managing and stuff. It's like you have this as your little your little goal task. Oh, hi. Oh. oh. But so for this one was a lot more of just like, oh, I'm the person that has to make sure that those things happen. And yeah. So it's a lot more of just thinking 20 steps ahead of everything you need to do and thinking five weeks out of yeah. everything else that you need to get done. And thank God for you guys, because yeah. I, I can't read. I <laughs> can't count. You mean Brent knows. I just am not reorganized. So on the production Brent. side, thank you. Was that? Mm -hmm. Want to say that again? No. <laughs> So, yeah, what was your guys' favorite experience working on the show? Or, like, your, what did you hate the most? <laughs> so, my favorite experience. <laughs> so, who do you, like, really hate? <laughs> I fanned a lot. Just between us. Yes. I had a really bad oh, fangirl moment. So, okay, what well, happened twice. But both times it was at different, like, t table reads. Well, he's up there. And the first time it was because Dan unfortunately wasn't at the table read, so I got to read in as Harriet. And then Brent like whispered to you at one point. He whispered to Brent like, "Oh, she she's like a great Harriet." And I lost the ability to read. <laughs> it was so cute. Like, it was the first time I like realized what I was doing. And then the second time was when Max talked in his Colin voice the first time. That was you like. I think you squealed during the table <laughs> voice. We like took it I like covered like, my face and then like. <laughs> Brent Isaacs called me out for it. Yeah. It was, so it was pretty. Yeah. That was pretty cute. That was pretty funny. <laughs> How about you, Rachel? What's your most embarrassing moment? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 College one. So was I. <laughs> all of us were fine. It's fine. It's great. It's all, fine. Of, all of us were. I forgive you. <laughs> but 
yeah. Um, I'm go to so you, so you said, you said you when you go to management mode, you kind of shut off that part. I of shut off the little part of my brain that's just like I'm around all these actors that I loved and like love watching the show. And, oh, I'm working on it. Like I, I remember I think I posted on Instagram like it took me until the first episode to actually drop months later of me being like I worked on this show. <laughs> oh my gosh, like that's my name. Like oh, I, I did. Th- yeah, it's yeah, like, it's like, cool. super fun. And how did you hear about this whole thing? Um, so I was a fan of Lizzie Bennet Diaries. I came in actually on episode three, which then Bernie reminded me was like, that was week two of the show. And I just literally, so from that, then like I've watched all of the project. Matt, I went straight to Emma. Wow. Frankenstein, which one of my friends worked on Frankenstein too. So like. Uh, no, who's your friend? Huh? Um, her name's Lisa Curtis Saunders. She was actually in the wardrobe department for. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Uh, and then, um. Yeah, so I still follow all of Pemberley's social media stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Like, Jesse, it was like, I saw a posting of like, well, we need people. And I was like, cool, I'm unemployed and can't find a job right now. <laughs> Let's just try. I know people. <laughs> I do you people. need people? Do you guys know? I was like, when you throw out oh, like, yeah. resumes, you get maybe one. And this mm. was the maybe one that actually answered me. That's so, so cool. I think it was, it's, it was yeah. awesome. That's, that's awesome. I think it's so cool that Pemberley actually is a show that you can watch and, and have a realistic chance of also working on, too. Yeah. <laughs> if you, like, if you reach out to Bernie and have a good enough resume and attitude, or you like me and you just hold a gun to his head, <laughs> <laughs> and then you say, Cassie, is that a lookout? <laughs> that's what happens. Right? That's what happens. And that's the facts. Murder. I, I promise you, I, I realize I see myself doing this. You have a snot bucket. Yeah, a snot bucket. That was from Rachel. That was her producing. (laughs) She produced produced this moment. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. We have. We shall say. We shall say. Okay, okay. We have a ready. Ace is that's gonna happen later. Oh, oh, fine. Wow. Well, okay. It's gonna be while he's on camera. Well, you know what? It's about to come on. So, camera. ladies and gentlemen, we have another the cast place. member coming up. Uh, really? guess who it is? <laughs> it's not Maddie Bates. <laughs> guess. Guess who it is? You'll never guess. Like you should guess. Who do you think it is? <laughs> Colin. <laughs> who is it? Come on. Guess. That it's getting so old. <laughs> Definitely crane drop. Oh, um, yeah. it was a happy birthday too. Oh, thanks. Thank you guys. Thanks for the happy birthday stuff. Yeah, no, it was a crane <laughs> drop because I, I campaigned for an ending like that so hard. Um, it was, they were, the, the original intent was kind of like, you know, B. And Martin Harriet would get together and then they'd, they'd be like, hey, we like each other, yay. And I was kind of like, I, I went to the side with one of the writers, I was like, please don't make me the only Pemberley digital love interest that doesn't get to kiss the girl. And oh, then, that's so good. I remember and then that. that's, that's how the crane drop can happen. Aww. Um, so you're welcome. <laughs> and, uh, I think for, for this past arc, um, I, 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 don't, I, I just really loved playing B-Mart again in general, and like the direction that he went. Mm-hmm. Just such a left turn from in general, and like having the beard and then the, 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 That's right, I forgot you were the like... head and everything, and I know how he's just like miserable. And did, you, <laughs> did you just say the beard and the head? The, yeah, <laughs> all the hair. Cut, the cut hair, which was great. Reading all the comments, like, oh my god, beard, and I'm like, I have no hair on the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's talking about that hey, whatsoever. Uh, can you say? So, so whose birthday is it? Oh, it's mine. Yeah! Indoor camera. 
Open Door Candle. Um, what will I wish for? Don't tell us. Okay. <laughs> Donut. Would you like to have some donuts? I would love some donuts. Donut. Thank you. Fantastic. Donut is the birthday donut. Would have been nice if it was jam filled. Oh, yes. Jam filled. Yes. Oh, it's a banjo. It's a banjo. It's a banjo. Oh, it's a banjo. Now moving on. But no, um, also just the handshake. Oh, yeah. Between B Mart and Collins. <laughs> Um, I took a lot. I made that one up. I remember he was like, how long is this? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, don't worry, just follow me. We'll take the lead. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take the lead. It was, it was good. Yeah. That was, that was probably a lot of fun. I liked that a lot. That was awesome. I have donuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any questions for um, Birthday Boy B-Mart? <laughs> well, yeah, thank you, Bex. I'm always rocking the bandana. It was just a constant. Why well, do you do wear that a lot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's got a thing. Mm -hmm. Ice cream cake? Is that just a... Oh, ice, ice cream cake is my favorite kind of cake. Mm. Oh, nice. I, I had how it for did, breakfast today. <laughs> I'm very vocal about my cake preferences. Oh, oh gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Favorite, what is your favorite thing about... Thank you for the question. What is your favorite thing about uh, playing yeah. Mark? Uh, let's see. What is, what's my favorite thing about playing? I, I just I, it's, it's just every, everybody loves B Mark. Happy <laughs> Birthday! <laughs> um, everybody loves B Mark, and so I, I love the attention. <laughs> uh, but what was just super fun about playing this time around was was I just I I, I found out I was more myself than ever. Um, yeah, isn't that funny how that happens? Yeah, it was just literally. I mean, I, I said the lines, but it was just no like. Whatsoever, I just, just did it, <laughs> and uh, it was it was yeah even more fun. I'm sorry for all the stuttering. It's 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 all. You literally it's just my birthday. I'm so happy. Yeah, we're gonna shove you full of sugar. Yeah, I, I hope you guys know that like he also was some of the writers on or was one of the writers on some of the episodes. Yeah. So like, uh, be mark. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote, I wrote something. You did. Yeah. They're good. Oh, oh, yeah, I appreciate that. You realized my terrible joke that I insisted was going to be in this. So. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's a whole, the whole episode where they finally decide that Collins is going to be like a sommelier and stuff, and they're going through like all the options, and he says, you know, farming, agriculture, and they're all making fun. There's that line oh, where Beamart like says, farming's cool. Yeah, yeah that was a great cool, line. Which is a great shout out to the original like, Beamart. It's a farmer. It was her idea. I loved it. I just threw it in there. <laughs> and it made it. Can I have a question? I still don't understand the line. Are you related to the distant Kmart? Oh. H -mart. H -mart. H -mart. H -mart. H -mart. H Mart. I was like, uh, H Mart is apparently a store? Okay. I thought it was called Kmart. There's a grocery chain. No, there's chain. a Kmart, but there's a grocery chain also called H Mart. Oh my god, it's crazy. It's the Asian thing. The Asian thing. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know the the, the Asian the the supermarket H Mart? There's one in K Town, like three miles away. I thought I'm Hollywood. I'm Hollywood, baby. No, no, no. <laughs> Just like, oh, why don't you guys? We didn't bring more people We're to, to see do. If yeah. this works. Yes, here come. I'm gonna I'm gonna hop out real quick. No, no, no. Okay. You no, I need to blow my nose. <laughs> and I'm tired I'm of seeing mean. myself. I'm gonna I'm gonna put All myself right. right here. Oh, Ooh. take it away, right. guys. See, somebody asked about the, <laughs> the Collins in the Garden episode. Sure. Oh. Oh. Where did that come from? Um, that? I came from a lot of amazing <laughs> B-roll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, that was a real. That was really an, intro, an an instance of a week where we had to go. Oh God, what do we do this week? And uh, we just had a good amount of enough extra footage to amount about a minute and a half worth mm -hmm. of material, and so we did that. <laughs> And yeah. so we did. We spent yeah. a lot of time with letting Max just eat Collins yeah. around the house oh, and around yeah. outside. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for everybody who actually got that the title of it was Extensive Grounds. There were some of you guys on the YouTube comments that immediately got what that was a reference to. And that made me very, very happy. So thank you so much. For everybody else, it's a line in the book, Emma, about Extensive Grounds. I'll shut up now. Someone else <laughs> You're allowed to nerd out. <laughs> this is a nerd safe space. space. I'm still optimizing my experience. <laughs> <laughs> never stops. Never sleep. Never uh, stop. Stop. Excuse me. Never stop. Stop. I'm going to be in here. I was like, I can do yeah. it. No, no, no. You're good. You were all good. I just want to be able to see you. Okay, I'll come back there with you.
Oh, nice. Okay, it's good. All right, guys, we have a couple other fun people coming. Do you want to, Chris, you want to come in? You want to say hi? You go in the middle. Wait, do I just bring the chair? Oh, my God. All right. <laughs> We're all just coming out. He's like, hey, 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 do you want to talk about what you do and what was your experience on the show? Yeah, sure. Uh, I got on with Pemberley Digital on Lizzie Bennett episode 50 and worked on the entire season for Sanditon and then um, wow. jumped on Kimberly the first season. It's been a while. So, like, I remember yeah. seeing you guys and I got a couple funny stories with you guys. Oh, you're like? <laughs> yeah, okay, so, like, for the longest time, I never got to meet any of you guys until, like, episode, like, way down the line. Because, like, I was work, I work in post production. I'm a post production supervisor. That's how I started. Um, anytime you saw something bad or, like, a weird artifact happen in the video, that was my fault. Luckily, I don't think there was now, you're like, I just have to get this off my chest. Yes, like, I, so I, I have to admit, I have to come clean. No. Oh, if we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, there was one of my clips where I said Dick Van Dyke, and where it looks like I'm saying Van Dyke, and they eviscerated me in the comments. Like, oh. that's not how you say his name, and I'm like, but that's I not know. How you say his name, Dave. I know. Well, that one, I don't. Oh, okay, okay, I can excuse for that one. I didn't um, edit it, I'm not the editor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for excuses. It's the best excuse that's not my job. That's not bad. That totally that was not my job. job. No, but, but I just when I want to know, I know it's Dick Van Dyke. I just need to put that out there after six years. Oh, we're all from El Salvador. I know, I'm from El Salvador. Everybody wants to know how your sandwich was. Yeah, a lot of my sandwich, <laughs> my sandwich was really amazing. Um, I got it was it from, from Jersey, from Jersey Mike's. Mike's. I got a number nine. Oh, Jersey Mike's? Yeah. I had a coupon. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chris, they're dying what the was quality of the sandwich. What was your, do you have uh, any memories or stories from Emma? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, the first story is... Um, so I was working on a lot of the footage, and the thing is, I never really got to meet these guys until like maybe I think the first rap party, I think, or it's like it's like hi, it's like who are you? It's like I work with you guys. Like what do you do? I'm the post guy. Oh hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, it's essentially like I didn't get to meet any of these guys face to face until like uh, at least twenty episodes in. Um, I do have a couple of war stories. I mean, like <laughs> Ooh. yeah. So who do you like hate the most? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not that. Okay. Technology. Oh, you know, I, we've had a couple of times where, like, um, this one time, like, the entire network went down, and I had to figure out a way to get, like, your footage just ready for the editors the next day. So I had to, like, jury break, like, eight to ten, like, computers just to, like, uh, transcode the footage. A lot um, of the technology between, like, the footage and what, what you see now is a lot different. Back then, you had to convert the footage before you edited it. So oh. that was. Uh, I see it up all night doing that. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I like that idea. What's that idea? Somebody said they would like uh, cast commentary while watching episodes. Oh, oh. Can we, are we able to do that, Bernie? We did that once. We did it with the pilot, right? We did it with the finale. Um, why are you asking me? You can comment anytime you want. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, no, like, watch a video what? and then kind of like a do over. And then people, oh, like you're watch watching it. Watch an episode literally right now? Yeah, could we? Oh, oh man. Or is that, I don't know. I'm not a tech person, guys. We were thinking I mean, of taking a break at one point. Why don't we come out like right later and figure that out? I, okay. I mean, I do have an iPhone. We can just put it up there and watch it. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys want to see that, or does that sound like All right, you guys have to decide which episode you want us to watch. So everyone vote right now on what episode you want us all to watch, and comment on, and we'll try to make that happen. Yeah, I like that idea. Can you please be one that I'm in? I'd really like to comment on what I was doing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you're kind of like comment. You're like, oh, this looks like it was fun. I wasn't a part of it. All right, people <laughs> seem to like it, so yeah, just right. tell us the, the bird the watching, watching one. Oh, they want to watch the bird watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. like, so that like, was yeah. a fun episode, though. It was, it was fun. Fun. I enjoyed it. Episode. It was fun to shoot. Let's see. Uh, the finale, maybe. Oh, of, finale. The, of the original, the first season? Xmas party. Xmas party. So basically, uh, lots, of, lots of different episodes. That was a lot of episodes. Oh, Box Hill episode. I was in that one. The last episode of the 
What episode was that? I think like 70 something. I think the one after that. Bernie, can they see your search right now? No. 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 Badly done. Oh, wait, wait. That's when you were apologizing to me, right? So then. No, that was the box kill. I don't remember these. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, I don't. Oh, that's Jane. Um. I think this is just Emma and... I think, I think, the, I think the season finale oh, of season yeah. one yeah. would probably be the best of the lot, right? Uh, the yeah. Maybe we watch two episodes then. Box sale of the season we'll, we'll do. How about we watch one and then we'll, we'll take a break so then watch it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're also like, betting that Akka can pull this one off. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the meantime, let's make a bet. You want the show to be right through there, though, Bernie. So you want you want the last episode? I will see what the fans have to say. But you won't be able to hear it. Who won't be able to hear it? Us or them? Guys, us. Oh, yeah, we can't hear we it. We don't have speakers yeah, on this. Yeah, there's no speaker, so you can actually yeah. hear it. Oh, oh is it? Is it? Yeah, so we should use the iPad. <laughs> okay. Do you so want me to guys, hear guys, it? here's what we're going to do. We're all going to put it on. We're going to do it online. We're going we're gonna to put all the episodes on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll record commentaries, no, no. and then, then we'll make them available that, to the public. That sounds fine. No. <laughs> no, we can't. No, we can't do that. Can't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm just spitballing. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's his birthday. Okay. Spitball. What right. games did you bring? Oh, that's why I made. You play your like headphones. That that one I think would be the easiest one to play right now. So oh, I, I, have, I have just basic trivia as well. Oh, Ooh, all right, let's like trivia. I'll and do then this speak one. out is funny, but we can all just laugh at one person who's trying to speak. Hold on. Then what? Me, have you not played this game? That's one. There we go. Oh, no. oh, I refuse. No. <laughs> it makes you look oh, really no. awesome. I'm I'm sure. Sure. My mom oh. tried to make us play that at Thanksgiving. And, and I brought a bunch of mouthpieces because it's really gross. <laughs> yeah, that, is, that sounds <laughs> unhygienic. It, look, I'll give you a, a little view of what it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Did I finish my whole sandwich up there? And I always forget if it's up or down, but it's like. It's the on crowded. It's like I had a cup. You stop it. No, no it's, down. it's 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 down. We're gonna put headphones on someone and try to have them guess what the sentence is. Oh yeah, I've heard of this game. Yeah. Okay, Great, so Brent and I get it. Cool. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know this game too. So, um It's lip reading. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically lip reading. So if you guys want it right now, give us But then you can the person. But the person can't yeah, then they, they shouldn't be able to look. So who would like to go? <laughs> okay. Dave, you wanna guess? Nikki, you wanna um Do you wanna be the one telling me the sure. sentence? Alright, so let's see. So well, you guys, it's super, super easy. Let's see what's the best way. I'm trying not to look at chat. Okay. Let's see what keeps you guys should, uh, let's see. Switch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh Brent and Rachel, we guys move to the back here. I'm Kia. Yeah, Brent. Bless. And Thank I'll go you. in the middle. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So, Dave, you are guessing? I'm guessing. Oh. Let so me get those on. on. Okay. Oop, I hit the mic. I'm so sorry. Well, like, your those heads, uh, my head is really tiny. They, um, broke, actually. What? Yeah, they, they stopped working after yeah. a while. Okay. Oh, that's a bunch of crap. At some point, we need to talk about it. Is that loud? Loud can you enough can hear us? I can hear you a little bit. Well, I'm fucking loud. Wow! <laughs> can you? Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> can you turn them up in here? Can you turn them up on the headphones? Okay, that's good. Have yeah, we accidentally caught? Can you hear if I'm talking to you? Oh, the first one. This is the first okay, one. Okay, that was the first this one. This is the first one. She caught wow. herself It took us this long to get there. Well, I didn't have radio. It was only 50 minutes. Does it turn up in here? Uh, is there like a no. turn up thing? That's as loud as it is. Can you hear it? There it is. Oh, that sounds great. Can you, can you hear it right now? I'm okay, right. I think it's good. Okay, <laughs> talk quietly. Okay, I'll whisper. Yes. Just whisper. Okay. All right, guys, let's see. Bernie, can we go in honor and see what's done? suggestions? Okay. Um, oh, Nikki. Oh, how about uh, this sentence is number three? Is there a, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one. What, okay, now, can, yeah. you, can you tell it to the everybody? <laughs> Great. Okay. <laughs> can you tell it to the <laughs> I'm going to say... I'm gonna say I love. This I'm not a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I love this cast and many of the donuts. Okay, okay perfect. Wow, that's All right. a tough one. Can you can you rate that, Bernie? <laughs> By Mike Villanueva. Wait, what? 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 I Here. love this cast and many of the donuts. Okay. What 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 would you with that? Just let <laughs> the fans hear. You're good. You're good. Don't worry. Alright, go. Ready? All right. I think okay. they heard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ready? Ready? Okay. I love this. <laughs> I love 
on this. I like how loud she is. Gate, yeah. gate, gate, <laughs> gate. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, the song's, song's out. Ah. Oh, someone's calling mom. <laughs> <laughs> Well known amongst the. <laughs> 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 
Haitian. Now it's 2013. Oh, I have baby Haitian. One, two, three, four. I declare it thumb war. I didn't want to make you feel bad. One, two, three. Yeah. No. One, two, no. three. No. No. I'm the best. In the world. It's really, it's not you. I'm, I'm sure. that good. So you can, if you're allowed to like. Yeah, I know. That, I, 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 yeah, that was a little cheating yeah, too. Did. I didn't know. Like, he knows. He knows the rules. I'm like asking. That's like, that's like. Okay, so when your hands free, when your like elbows free, yeah, you can kind of like go oh, on the wheels no. and things. Be different different game. Game. The actual championships. Yes, yeah. it was a different game. My elbows were down the whole time, and I still I won the world game. championships. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. It's like a little snake. Break his neck. Ah, break his. Break his neck. Make him bleed. My thumb is so short. One, two, ah. three. Ah. Not pepper. <laughs> Be pepper? I say be I hear I, I see pepper. <laughs> Burger is what your mouth is doing no, it's not. right now. No, I'm sorry. Peppers. <laughs> be butter. Faber. Faber? Faber? No. Oh, not so no, favor. No. Because no. that's not a word. <laughs> paper. Yeah! Okay. I have the paper. I've got the paper. Test? <laughs> I've got the paper cranes. Paper. Do that one again. <laughs> I can't look at you. You just look, I just, you're eating now. <laughs> I've got the paper. I've got the paper. <laughs> paper chomp? No. You're not saying a word. Yes, I am. <laughs> paper. Paper. Paper check. Paper. Paper cut. I've got the paper cuts. Two. I've got the paper cuts to prove it. Yeah! <laughs> Something this is like all the music from high school. <laughs> 
Oh, I've got the paper cuts to prove it. That was a line in the show. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, I didn't get it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I got there. Come on, give okay. us some good hard ones. That's what she said. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> 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 Come on, come on. No, I, like I like really, okay, really, really that like something that you up. can't really get. But I do like that one. Are you in the comments? Rose things, rose things. That would be a really, really, really yeah. hard one. Oh. This is no, not no, a really hard one. No, that's no. super easy. Come on, one more. We love those, but like something Thank like you the paper cuts to prove it. Shout out. I appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> Definitely not. At least 10 syllables. Yeah. Oh, die. I can choose mine. I love Jim Lincoln. Wait, what was the name of the jam? Oh. The jam? Oh, yeah. oh, um, oh. Um, don't Super catch a little bit. Super catch a little bit. Look down at the ground. Especially nice to people. <laughs> what, was something, what was something that you used to like that Nightwing said? Oh, that's a... It's a truth universally. Oh, gosh. It's a truth universally. The flowers are romantic. Well, I like the flowers are romantic, but it'd be so easy. It's a shame. Yeah. Oh, it's a shame. That's a long one. That's a good one. Brent is a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we should do. No, no, no. That's, that's my mom. Don't let her do it. Oh, <laughs> that's not work for everyone? No. I mean, that one could be kind of fun. Those, Those are not are droids. Not the droids you are looking Thanks, for. Thanks, Elias. <laughs> I like my khakis. <laughs> I like my khakis. Yeah, that one's like my khakis. Yeah. You can't take I, my khakis. I'm a do the plaid. Plaid, plaid is universally good for everyone. Yeah. Be careful because your deeper register might cut through. So. I would have cut. All of that. Is it good? No. It's a truth universally acknowledged that flowers that are That one. Good. God, that's a long one, but okay, let's try that one. It's a, okay. it's a, uh, it's a truth it's a universally acknowledged that flowers are good. You can't hear him. Can you? Can you hear him? You can hear him. Okay. <laughs> that's a lot. Can you hear me? Are we that's starting? A lot. That's a lot. Are we starting? That's a lot, a lot. That's a, like a little too um, a lot. It's a, uh, it's a truth that flowers it's true are that universally that romantic. Yeah, yeah, there you go. It's no, true. no, that's, that's true. true. It's true. universally <laughs> acknowledged that flowers are romantic. It's true that flowers are romantic. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Are we, are we starting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, did you go already? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Wait, just, just. Okay. Ready? Okay.
cats. This is really <laughs> my cats. Cats. Cats.
Vision for God's It's It starts with a B. <laughs> oh, that wasn't great. That was so good. So That's all one word? <laughs> <laughs> Three syllables, no, one no, word. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> his. They start with an F. His. Fiance. His fiance. Is. Anne. <laughs> hi. His fiance is hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Well. Was that right? His fiance is hi? You said no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> his fiance is hi. Bath salts? <laughs> 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 bath salts. Well, that's the lowest we know. Is that one word again? Yeah. Let's look at three syllables. <laughs> His fiance, or fiance is high beside beats. Be He's not used to big words, guys. <laughs> <laughs> is that a P? Pal. Bal. App. <laughs> His fiance is high. The key is trying to get hands in the air. <laughs> 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 oh, hold on, we're coming up to the end of the song. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Okay. All right, his fiance's high. Math. <laughs> mathematically. <laughs> man. He's man. So high mathematically speaking. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Meth. Stop, <laughs> guys, <laughs> man. <laughs> 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 Basically, man is it an M? Man manically, man meant mentally, <laughs> maniacally, <laughs> man to man. There's so many <laughs> Men. Manny. Sorry, no hands. Nothing's hard. My jaw's popping. Oh, no. That's my jaw. So sorry. I can't, I can't do big words. <laughs> this fiance's hard. Men. Charlie and Nikia, I think she's trying. Right. <laughs> Manid. Meningitis? 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 Meningitis?
here. Hi. Mm-hmm. Gosh, I, I don't know. Sorry, sorry, Colin. Because you're yeah. frustrated because you're scared. Is that why? <laughs> what? Actually, thank uh, all the patrons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. To yes. support us over um, <laughs> the the two month run that we just had. What do you miss the most about Emma? Not being around Emma. What do you miss? Just being with my friends. Aww. I just I just love hanging out with everybody. Nah, nah, nah. Like, Erica would love a drink. Let's get her one. Pour one out for Erica. Pour one out for Erica. There's a macaroni. Pour one out for Erica. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for everyone for your your support. Thank you to our Patreon members. Thank you guys for just sticking with us through all of these years. It's still so cool to get tweets and stuff yeah. from people saying they just started watching the series. So it's been it's been a really cool journey. And thank all you guys too. Yeah. Not any we're done yet, but I just want to say thank you guys for for um yeah making this happen. Yeah. Shoot. And mm-hmm. look at us. We all can get together and everybody still loves each other. It's awesome. Main time. <laughs> <laughs> I loved uh, Ooh, I loved interacting so with the patrons and, and having them kind of dictate where the story went. I really appreciate uh, that the patrons voted for a bird watching video. <laughs> it was a long time coming, and uh, I didn't know I had to have as much fun as I did shooting the thing. Um, <laughs> and by meant shooting the birds. Yeah, <laughs> that's virtually all improv. It was really, it was really fun. Um, but yeah, no, no, it was it was a really cool experience, and the the, the first time I think it's something like that has been done um, where the patrons were active members of the show so it was a really cool experiment and uh, which we could not have done without the patrons that we had so mm-hmm. thank you guys so much yeah. 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 after five years I know and everyone was like ready to rally it's just it's amazing <laughs> And even if you couldn't be a Patreon member, uh, thank you for still Any watching and, and, yeah, and just uh, interacting with us because that's uh, what matters the most. But we got a lot more time left, so what do we want to do? Uh, right? Are we going to do you don't. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can go eat. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll get ten percent like, screen. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We got no more. I'll get a drink. We got a couple more games. Everybody to the kitchen. Some people should stay. Some people should stay. We need to get Julie over here too. Julie! Julie! Yeah! Julie! You gonna go get her? I know some places. And Emma. One of the Emmas behind Emma. Ladies and gentlemen. I know. I have waited so long to use that one. Yeah, it's been very awkward off the shoulder. How are you guys? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the lovely Julie Lou. So many things yes. on the show. Do you want to explain everything? Yeah, tell them what the people let you do. Uh, I wrote some episodes. I helped shoot a lot of it. I was also one of the post production supervisors, <laughs> and I edited most of the Thursday like extra segment stuff, like the bird watching video. Yeah. Color corrections. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, color corrections. You don't understand. Really? Without our post this wouldn't happen just because it literally was everything technical needed to happen. It was just every day was like, Julie, we need this. Julie, how can we get this done? Julie, help. So, no. So. And Emma, Emma, why don't you talk about your amazing job also? Yeah. Um, I'm not Woodhouse, uh, but still <laughs> Emma. Uh, I ran a lot of the social media this time around. Uh, Going way back to like, I think starting in like June or so, I've been the person you've been tweeting most of the time. So that's awesome. Literally, any of the characters tweeted at you, it was probably just me on my iPhone. Um, sorry to 
Break the illusion. Break the illusion! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Smashing it. <laughs> yeah, I've played all of them. There were so many times of me just being like, Emma, I need, I need somebody to say this. Can you write this now in an awesome tweet way? Because I'm also not very Twitter savvy. Which I learned the hard way. You, you wrote uh, the blog post, like you, yeah, you I know. Like, yeah. But it was more so just things that I would like write a tweet and I'd be so proud of myself, and then I would get a little note from Emma just being like, "Hi, so if you do an out of character <laughs> first, that's a reply and not a tweet." And so I was going to see that now. I was like, so. <laughs> we had spreadsheets. We had oh, the social media side of Emma approved a lot. I've always wondered actually it's because a lot. yeah, because I remember when we first signed on originally, Bernie like did this whole thing where he was like. You guys can tweet as your characters, like, if you want, but we have people for that. But, like, if you want to do it, and I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'll tweet at my character as me. Sure. Uh -huh. Yeah. But, it, no. It literally was spreadsheets of every single week. Of yeah. Like, here's what's happening on the show. So we want this person needs mm -hmm. to be saying this, and then this person's going to reply to this person with this gif, and then this person's going to reply to this and this yeah. person like that. But we have to wait for yeah. this episode to drop before yeah. we can tweet this and, like... And it's a whole thing, like yeah, and especially because we were reviving the show, we didn't have like the like the canon all at hand because it's like a, it's a different team. Yeah. yeah. So we had like I had to like go back through like all of Emma's Instagram posts, all of her tweets, everything because I had to learn the voice. Yeah. Thank you. You're, you're great. <laughs> yeah. You're fantastic, Emma. I did my best, um, but I mean, obviously, like your Emma when you're talking on camera is very different from how the character tweets. So yeah, you have, to, like, you have to learn the voices, and you have to make sure your tweets don't sound too much like each other. It's it takes a lot of effort, and oh, they all can do it. No, she is literally like our transmedia queen. Like, yeah, fantastic. Well, transmedia for is... all of your needs. Yes. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, transmedia is my thing. Mm -hmm. It's your jam. Yeah. It's my it's job. Hired. Hired. It's your pajama. It's pajama. Yeah. Pajama. Uh, I remember the blog post of Emma's outfits the first time. Around. Who oh, did those? I don't remember. Was that Christina? I think it was Christina. Was Christina it? Gruber? Christina and maybe Christine. What's the question? Who did, oh, who did the, the, the fashion blog, blog. posts? Uh, the blog posts were by um, Angelique. Oh, oh. It's just, I'm sure you guys already talked about this, but it's always so crazy being like, wow, that's me, but I didn't do any of that. Yeah. <laughs> Let me clarify. The blog post, the fashion blog post were Angelique. The blog post was Tamara Pinsky. Ah, uh, Bernie Sue, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, okay. Hey, Bernie Sue! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> you guys pull those from the For Your Own Order. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, this time around, last time around, Jessica Snyder did all of our awesome oh, wardrobe, like Texas khakis. And then uh, this time around, since we work with a different budget, yeah. um, we did pull. So, everything we're wearing is our own. We're very lucky clothing. that we, like, have. Similar yeah. styles to our yeah. characters already. Because like who would who would own a donut skirt other than Dan <laughs> yeah. Hutton? I will say yeah. your sense of style. I remember like you wore this one blouse, and then all of us on Slack were just trying to figure out where you got it because we kept getting like messages. Oh, oh the cat one. The cat one. Yeah. 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 It was like where did you get this? And we were like discontinued Zara shirt. Oh. As it turns out. I know. Oh, I, so was, I was like I wore this. Yeah. Well, it's six years old. I wore it to my Emma callback. Like, that's how old that I got it for my birthday, and I was just like, so it was, and everyone wanted to know where it was, and I was like, uh, pulled this from the back of my wardrobe, man. So, um, that's, this is a good question right here. I would love to hear more about your division of labor and specific roles in production. I know we kind of touched a little bit on it, but do you guys want to go further into detail about your roles in the show and roles in other projects you've been working on or that you're working on now? It's also kind of hard just because, like, especially since we are such a small a team, and so we, you wear so many hats. There's yeah. a lot of overlap. There's so yeah. much overlap. But mm -hmm. I mean, we had kind of our, our normal niche, and then even on shooting days, that just kind of went out. Yeah. yeah. Of, like, you do okay, that. Do, do, do you have any advice out there for people that are, are wanting to break into this industry or do something like this in uh, either TV shows, movies, or different web series? Advice that you would give from working on this set? Bernie okay. Sue has an opinion. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. Uh, pick on someone. Make them put them on the spot. <laughs> Just pick on them. Oh, no, I, mean, I, I, I go. Oh, we've got a volunteer. Oh, oh yes, yes. Yeah, this is actually something that, like, it was my first uh, interview with Bernie. He talked about with me. Just make stuff. <clears throat> like, just make it. Like. It doesn't matter if it's bad. It doesn't matter if it's not your best work. You're going to get better. But you just, just make it. You don't know what. You're like. You don't know what's going to come from it. Just make it. Just do it. Make it happen. It doesn't matter like what how much money you have. Nice. You just learn a few pancakes before you make the perfect one. Yeah. yeah. Just like before you make the perfect one. Before you make it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you live your life? Just frogs? Just do it. 
Wait, so you have volunteers? Is there a volunteer yourself? Ah, words, words to live by. Be quite yeah. 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 Oh, wait, 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 wait. So is there a way to make the chat a little bit bigger, Bernie, so you don't... Yeah, we're missing, it's like yeah. Yeah, we yeah, we don't necessarily need to see the videos of people. They're perfect. Like I do. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 I was like, Bernie. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> that doesn't help. Aw. Oh, oh god. I love Well Emma I ever visit Sanditon. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, but funny enough, I did audition for Sanditon. That's how I got the role as Emma Woodhouse. I went in for a character named. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was your official name. Bernie, <laughs> so with with and then my twin was supposed to be Stephen, Stephen Chang, so we did the audition together. We didn't get it, but they remembered me from that audition and brought me in to read for Emma Woodhouse. Thankfully. Was that the role that like, Kyle ended up playing? Or? No, no, it's no. it's the role no. Vanessa played. Uh, but, Leticia, I think, was the. the and then you, if you were, it was you, it would have been Leticia. But it was, no. No. <laughs> you don't play Leticia. No. Um, but yeah. Hannah wants to know how did the idea of the reboot come along and how did the ball get rolling? How the hell did we do this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it was the game first. Yeah, then, first like, the game yeah. came out and then there was just a general conversation Bernie had with all the cast if we would be interested in coming back. Um, and then mm -hmm. once we had all said yes, then it would kind of put things into motion and... Um, all the well, pretty quickly from there. Yeah, yeah the patrons really helped out, and really then um, you know Brent Isaacs came on and helped writing, and um, I showed up. <laughs> Jane yeah. came to work when we told her to. Um, so yeah, it just kind of uh, the team was already sort of in place as far as like in front of the camera, and then we Bernie sent out a, a notice to uh, all the Pemberley fans and asked if anybody wanted to come on and help out the the revival, and a bunch of people did, and so we kind of just formed the team and went mm -hmm. from there. And, Started it shooting. It was yeah. a quick start too. Like it was, it was very fast start, literally yeah. me and Jesse's second day here was cool. We're gonna sit down and plot out like this entire season. Cool, great. You guys know everybody. Here's people. Just go. And we're like, that's our second day. What? Okay. <laughs> just make it, was, it happen. Yeah. It was very quick on the back end too. Like finding people. Like it, it was like a super quick process to find like the right people to, to be on the production team. I got an email saying right. Yeah. That's good though. That, that really helps when you're doing something uh, when you're making a show. It's great to be like OCD and detail oriented. Yep. Mm -hmm. Did you all plan <laughs> for Harriet and B Mark to get back together by the end of the revival had it continued? I think Are we allowed you... to say Bernie's famous line? Yes. What is Bernie's famous line? What's, What's cheaper, cheaper than a wedding? wedding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Go ahead. So originally, we weren't having a breakup. Originally, they were going to be planning a wedding, and then somebody named Bernie Sue said, you know, it's cheaper than a wedding, a breakup. <laughs> that's, some, that's some good writing words to live by. I pitched an arc where B. Mark pretty much enlists Emma and Alex to help him plan an engagement because his whole thing was like, if I propose, you know, if B. Mark's like, if I propose to Harry, it's got to be bigger than the crane drop. Yeah. Like, she, yeah. when she kissed me for the first time, a thousand paper cranes, <laughs> how do I top set that, that for an engagement? Mm. And it was going to be this whole thing. And then, and then that's when Bernie we started, started writing, where he's like, all right, so we're going to do So that was that whole thing. It was funny, there was, there was an arc um, that was coming up that we were getting ready to shoot, where uh, they actually... Um, B. Mart and Harry had kind of watched the crane drop again uh, mm -hmm. through old footage and kind of talked to each other about like how they're feeling about things now, kind of coming to terms of stuff. I mean, it wasn't quite a resolution, but it was part of the process that was going. But I, I think I think they would have ended up together again by the end. <laughs> Day does not agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. You're probably. But also, speaking of cranes, you guys have this little detail behind you yeah. that yeah, <laughs> the cranes put up. Yeah. There's also some of the cards that our patrons sent. Like we got our lovely Batman postcard, a lovely card they sent. The little. Yes. Yes. I love that song. I love that they can see it. I want one. Yeah, she's back. Yeah, she's back. Who made it? Because I want one. That's so cute. Oh, that's, yeah. that's another thing too. That's been so cool about the show. I'm so sorry that I forget exactly who made it, but yeah, that was one of the things that's, that was sent in, and it's that's so that's so, cool. that's so oh, rad. Yeah. But one of the coolest things about the show, from like when we episode one, season one, was how amazing our fans are, and how creative, and how talented they are and how much detail they spend into like all the little things like like uh, hell yes embroidery like there's just 
it's it still blows my mind how wonderful and and supportive you guys have all been. So Seriously. yeah, so this like, stuff you guys made like yeah. I was like I'm on a meme. I'm <laughs> like, oh, yeah. no, we're we're gifts. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a meme. I'm I, a gift. I really liked a bunch of the, yeah. the videos from they like compiled a bunch of clips oh. from the first one and put yeah. it to music. Oh and so yeah. Did a lot of cool editing tricks in there which were really nice. The Cinderella one. Whoever did that. Genius. Sorry, genius. <laughs> I don't know if I saw it. It was that. literally my head and superimposed on the Cinderella from the Cinderella. Oh. Where oh. she changes the dress and I feel like Cinderella's oh. like that episode. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they did that. Yeah. Nice. Wow. And so and they made, you know, a little skin blown. <laughs> <gasps> I love it. Do we have somebody here? Do we have somebody here? We need to rinse some people out. Yeah. Okay, we might need to rinse some people out. Okay, so we're going to out real quick. Let's take a break. We'll get some pizzas and foods. Um, Do you want to go in now? Or we're going to in now. Does this person want to come in or do you want to take a break? Hi! Okay, so we, we have another, we have another um, cast member from... Joe, go back to your seat. Okay. Me. okay, from Emma Approved. Who sure. do you think it is? It's not Mr. Collins. It's from season one of Emma Approved. Oh, city? Oh. I'll give you a hint. Ricky, I'm not ready. They, um... Uh, yes. played a really good villain, even though they're like the sweetest person like ever. Right. Um, uh, anyone guess it? Um, uh, I You know what? I had super a, mean. I actually had a blast <laughs> playing James Elton. I don't know if it's. I don't know. I think it's like part of the. Part of it is like your bad guy gets to come out. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I'm a pretty decent person and like try to like get along <laughs> with everybody and be nice. So when I get to be a jerk, that's fun. Yay! Yeah, that's really fun. <laughs> Uh, what was one of your so okay that was fun. What, did you have like a favorite memory from uh, shooting from being on set? I definitely have a favorite memory. Uh, yeah. uh, I remember specifically there was a take. I think it was me and Brent um, <laughs> when he. I think I think maybe Brent was on camera with you or or Dan and like. I think I was like hovering or something or like came into the doorway and okay, you had to do something like really silly and I kind of told Bernie I was like I think I'm gonna yes. make this really super awkward for Brent and like don't say anything like. I'm just gonna be like really weird and like overly stalking him. <laughs> we, didn't, and we didn't tell Brent, and I, I kind of came in and did some weird things, said something weird, and Brent like I think I went off script. Yeah. No, oh, I remember when was, we were all on screen, and you were like, "I'm gonna do this take as mean yeah. as I can," and yeah. he walked in at the end of it and ruined the whole take by laughing. Yeah, that's what it was. Because <laughs> oh, I think, I, think yeah. he was, I was like, "Bernie's gonna go off script for this." He was like, "Do it, do it, do it, do it." And so then Brent comes in, and he's just like, "What are we doing?" <laughs> Right in the camera, he's like, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna do this. It was just a great moment. Okay. Like, yeah. Is this really happening? And That's... I think I think why it's so memorable is because everyone is always like was so on point and was always so on book because we were doing so many pages at, mm -hmm. at the time. And so to finally get to be like, hey Bernie, can we just like take a second and like mess with Brent for like, a minute? Yeah. <laughs> Brent is always on his mark, so it was just oh, like, nice. I want to throw this guy out for a second. Mm -hmm. We did a lot, I don't know if you guys know this, but we fun. shot like a ton of pages in the first season. It was like 40 pages a day? 34 pages a day? Sure, yeah, because it was, it was total like an 80 page script that we had to do well, over. the most we ever had. That's true, it was like, probably like yeah. 60, 70. Yeah. yeah. So that in two days, and then uh, we would get the script on like a Wednesday. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah. Joanna, I remember jo I would like to see the script. And like, cool, I have like two scenes with like five <laughs> lines total in each. And Joanna would have 60 pages to do yeah. in like eight hours. Just a tiny benefit deck. Once a month. Lot. You handled it so well. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. It was, and then you got to come back. Yeah. That, how, what was that like? That was fun. Uh, mm -hmm. It was fun coming back. I mean, it was just fun because I always felt like I just got to 
got to like come in and like blow it up with some villainy, <laughs> um, which was just fun. But it, I've always had an amazing time like working with all you guys and Aww. you know doing our thing and I having mean, rivalries and sure. yeah. Up with some I think there was a conversation. Yeah, Seriously, was there yeah. ever a conversation with you coming back for the revival? And I feel like there. Oh, absolutely. Was, yeah. If we didn't already talk to you about it, I think there was definitely a conversation of talking to you. Yeah. 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 I know I, I know I fought for our line to say about you. Because mm-hmm. I was like, no, it's mean and it's perfect. Because I don't know if you saw it, but there's a fight in yeah. that. He brings up Elton. And he was kind of like, I think Beaver would have moved on. And I was like, when you're fighting, you haven't moved on from anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's so true. I was like, it hurt me when I initially read the script. Just as me, I was like, oh, ouch. Yeah. I was like, you have to keep it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Actually, sorry for all the burns. And it's fine. It's fine. They <laughs> so, treated you badly as Elton. You did, it's, but you it's know. fine. We moved past it. You know what's crazy is I worked with <laughs> Jessica, Caroline. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, recently, and it was great to see her and just remembering how much fun we had being just evil people together. Yeah, and just blast. so you guys know, both of them are like the nicest humans ever in real life. Just ridiculous. <laughs> so sweet. Real good villains, actually nice people. <laughs> Besides all these people here, right? Wait, where, do you think, <laughs> where do you think Elton is now? Is he still with Caroline? Ooh, definitely not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Elton is a social climber. He's an opportunist. Oh, that's he, a good idea. He has yeah. found some way to, I don't know, be even like worse than he was. Like, <laughs> tarnish the political career? Okay. I actually think he, he would probably use that as like bad publicity. Um, you yeah, know, to like mm-hmm. move up and get his name in the paper and stuff. His no yeah. all publicity is good publicity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we should play the game with balls. Yeah. 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 Like the trivia okay. game? Which one do you want? You want a trivia or do you want oh, to do, sure. you want to do the mouth, the girl's mouth game? Oh, I'm going to be the worst at trivia. We should not do okay, that. Okay, no trivia. Before we did the game where we put headphones on so you couldn't hear anything, you okay. had to guess what the sentence was. Okay. It's fairly, fairly... I think it's going to be as well. It's the same Yeah? Thing. Ooh, no. what is this? No. It's okay. really gross but hilarious. Chris Pratt played it on Ellen. It was super Well, I think Chris Pratt does. Yeah. I will, I will I put the thing in my mouth. All right. Yeah? So it goes in your mouth. Oh, it's gross. I already have a huge mouth. Before we played the game, I, I actually have to go. No! Oh! Well, we oh, Mr. Isaacs. It, it is but, his uh, birthday. He has a birthday. Yeah, it's his birthday today. Oh, it's his birthday. I, I wish it was birthday. Can, can I sing you a song? Yeah. Yeah. Can I sing you a song? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Okay. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Hey! 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 Well done. Well done. Thank you. All right, well, I'll say goodbye here. Um, I just... Uh, for, for you guys, I, I love you all and I'll miss you. Aww. And I'm sorry. But for everybody here and behind the camera and stuff, um, ev- everyone involved is a part of a very special part of my life. And I'm just grateful for you all. For, Aww, for being and stuff. So, you know. Thanks for being our B-Mart. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. See, you tomorrow. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Happy Bye. birthday. Good, Good to see you, man. man. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Take care. Alright, see you tomorrow, dude. Yep. Birthday. Bye. 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 This is a birthday. This song is not very long. Yes, please, please. Alright. So, wait, if I'm going to be the person talking. Okay, I'll come next. If you're the person talking, I'll be guessing. Okay, okay. Who's gonna be, wait, this is gonna be your mouth? No, the key is gonna talk. Yeah. 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 And then you. Yeah. My mouth is yeah. very large, so I can still talk. Which one do you want to. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, gosh, this is gonna be this one. <laughs> no. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. yes. It starts to really hurt your mouth after a minute, but it's gonna be funny. Yes. You gotta, can you do a shove? Where do you get a shove? Uh, can I have some clean up? Oh, yeah, it's here, it's rolling. Yeah, yeah. I have all the tissues. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. There's one. There's some here. No, those are for uh, just snack. Yeah. No, 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 those ones are. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need another bucket? No, we're good. Yeah. No, no, we're snack okay. bucket. Not bucket. Oh, oh yeah. my word. Oh, I mean, I guess anybody can really guess, but... Wait, let's have... Let's, let's have, do it mostly um, for you. How you doing? Let's okay. Have, she's pretty good at this. Paul Stark. No. I'm guessing what she's trying to say. I'm the... You're going to try to get... Yeah. You're just... You're just going to say one sentence, and all you have to do is repeat it. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to just... Yeah, there is a time there. I'm like a then for like this. Okay, so let's oh, say. Okay. I mean, now that you've got it stuck in your mouth, you want to say it? This looks nice. Wait, wait, wait. I have to go on the phone. I got it right here. I feel like. old school. I feel like Chief Two Face. Oh, yeah. Oh. You look like Chief Face. All right. Can we get this on to the other side? So, just wait long. Yeah, are you guys ready? Yeah. And All right, how many do you guys have to do? Let's do like a few. Go. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so you may even get to it. I made it more fast. I rain my heart on the hair. <laughs> I, I've i laid my heart on the snare. I've laid 
thy heart on the heart. I I gleaned my heart on the heart. I gleaned. Gleaned. No. Gleaned. Gleaned. Drained. Gleaned. My heart. My heart. My heart. Heart. My fart. I gleaned my fart on the. Parrot. On the parrot? Yeah! yeah! Oh, good job! Oh, I blamed my fart on the parrot. It's Great. just too funny hearing you say fart. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, time. Rattling wind. Oh, good job. Good job. You did my bad. Listen, kids. Oh, man. Do you want to try it with one of you? I think All right, let's try Everybody keep your mouthpieces in your hand. Can I have to guess? I'll clean them later. Okay. The dishwasher is okay, safe. What am I doing? I'm putting these. Which is the matter with I think I put that on the bottom. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like uh-huh. So the big part goes in your yeah. mouth? Yeah. Oh. And then put it in front of your teeth. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, they're separate from an EMA, right? <laughs> so cute. Alright. So are we all guessing now, or is it just. Or That's all. Okay. 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 And go. Okay. Alright. Never. Never. Fear. Fear. Never fear. Never fear. Iron. Iron Man is here. Iron here. I am here. No, iron. Never fear, I am here. Iron here. Iron, iron here. here. I, iron here. Iron here. Never fear, iron is here. Never fear, iron here. Oh, never fear, iron here. Yeah. Oh, that makes no oh. sense. Okay, just a gun. Just a gun. La la la. <laughs> la la la. La la la. For president. Blah 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 for president. Um, uh, blah 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 for president. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Wow, good job. Thank you. Oh god. Okay. Oh, I think I'm drilling. Okay. Oh. Ah. Uh, Finicky Philip. 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 Uh huh. Won't eat on Wednesday. Won't eat on Wednesday. Oh, it's a guy. Oh, it's a guy. Oh, it's a guy. Oh, it's a guy. Oh. Part goes in your mouth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, probably. Oh, you have to give a tiny mouth? Yeah. Yeah, you no, you can go big side. And then in front of your teeth. Okay. Okay. They should put tip of the teeth, the teeth, the tip of the tongue, the teeth. Nice. New headshot. That's good. Oh, beautiful. You know you like to do that, eh? Yeah, I'm ready. Go. Move the card so they can't see. I won't watch. Yeah. Shit. Shit. Never question Martha. Never, Never question, question Martha. Martha. 
Good job. Don't do it. Don't question her. Lawyers wear pantsuits to bed. Lawyers, Lawyers wear pantsuits to bed. You guys are killing us. <laughs> Poodles with magnificent mohawks. Poodles with magnificent mohawks. I feel like... Wow. Moats <laughs> floating on water. Moats floating on water. I feel like you guys got the easy one. <laughs> <laughs> say, Brent, say bubble butt for president. <laughs> bubble butt for president. There we go. Bubble butt for president. My brother is from Mars. My, my brother, brother is from Mars. Butter my Time. bread with bacon. Butter my bread with bacon. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> I think which red's harder? Which one? The red is harder. The red Thank is harder. I, I, I had the hard stuff. Yeah, I had the blue stuff. <laughs> blue's harder. 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 Everybody's harder. Uh, that's what. Here, I don't know. Here's some blues. You guys oh, freaking rocked those. I only did one. I know. Yeah. Forever to get the pair. <laughs> the parrot. Uh, Parrots are the same. Parrot. Parrot. Brent's good at this because he plays it every night. I do. So, I did, for the mirror. I did bring the game. So. <laughs> He's just the whole time. Why is Brent so good at this? You could do it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Please get it. I think I wrote my children. I believe it. Please Please it. Please it. Damn. Your mouth is so tiny. Put the small side in. No. Try the big side. Try the big but the side. big side like tucks in your cheek. Turn it that way. No, you don't want that. Oh, yeah. So here, Squeeze. Nikki is like, open your mouth. I am such a parent. It's like being a parent. Oh wait a minute, no, this is not gonna fit in her mouth. Is it well? No, it's not. Cause like this is very large, and her, her <laughs> it won't even go underneath. This her. is what good friends do. There we go. And now do the other side. Ow, it feels like. Is she, bite, is she biting you, Nikki? No. Is she oh, biting yeah. you? Oh yeah, you got it. Get it. Get it. Get it. It's in there. Okay. This is gonna be yeah. harder for you. You got it. Yay. You did it. Does it hurt? I think so maybe it's just gonna. It looks like it hurts. You have a really big mouth. <laughs> okay, quick. Because it looks like it hurts. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? Ready, set, go. Quiet, you buffoon. Quiet, you buffoon. Oh. <laughs> uh, flying saucer. Flying saucer. Pile up. Pile up. Flying saucer pile up. Flying saucer pile up. I see, I see scenes as Dean's trees. I see scenes, I see scenes as Dean's, Dean's trees. Dean's trees. Lean, lean, lean trees. Lean trees, lean trees. I see Jean's trees. Dean's trees. Jean's trees. Brain freeze. Brain freeze. Dean's. 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 Beans. 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 Oh. Beans freeze. Freeze. Yeah. Beans freeze. I see what that mean. Yeah. No. <laughs> White washed pants. White washed pants. Worn. 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 By. 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 My. My. Aunt. Aunt. Patty. 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 Butterfly sword swarm campsite? Yes. Nice. Ah. <laughs> oh, good job. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy crap. I think everyone did better than I think everyone did well. I think they did. I think we all really did. I mean, I think we were rock this game. I actually am not I mad at like, it. They, do they have child size ones no. in there? Child <laughs> size. I think those are the So these are on the clean ones just in case you want to play. We're going to put the dirty I'm ones just right in the middle. Well, thanks for playing. Well, what else have you been up to these past oh, five yeah, years? Been busy. Been <laughs> busy. Easy transition. Uh, uh, I just that. started uh, uh, producing and writing and directing for virtual reality. Oh, which that's has been, so thank cool. Thank you, Brent. I'm sorry. You're welcome. That I'll watch these later. Uh, yeah, it's been great. It's been, it's been really exciting. So what, does that, what does that look like? Writing for virtual reality? Yeah, so um, mm. I work for a company now called Amaze VR. Cool. Hey. And uh, yeah, we're, we're producing some stuff um, in virtual reality, which I think is a lot of a lot of fun, really cool. It's in the interactive world, a la Emma approved. Oh, that's super cool. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a lot of fun. It's really cool. Have you started production? Or just, like, oh yeah, in we're, we're, we're many many projects in. So. Oh wow. Yeah, it's been busy. Where can we watch this? Busy. You can yeah. watch it on the Oculus Go. Uh, Oh, Samsung cool. Gear VR, this makes reality cross platform. Oh, yes. In the headset. So check it out. Yeah. Check it out. Nice. Awesome. Oh, yeah. oh um, shameless plug. I'm going to be on Brooklyn Nine Nine. Hey! Hey! Nice. That's good. This um, is good. This is good. The, um, the season premieres, I think, sometime this week. And we see that, right? Um, yeah, but I'm also on the um, episode 12. So just, you know, if you follow time. me on social, <laughs> you know. Just make sure. <laughs> also, you can catch me on Animal Kingdom too. So please, if you oh, watch that, watch that. Yeah. Here. Are you watching? Everywhere. And, oh yes. Oh, so my my scene is really funny. Okay, wait. Can I? Yes. So my scene is really funny. It's with Adam Sandberg <gasps> and the, uh, the lead. I won't say. I don't know if everybody knows. I, I won't say that okay. part. Okay. But 
there is a very there is a very special guest cast member. Now she's also older, and she used to be on SNL. <gasps> so, and my scene is with all of them. Oh, that's oh. fun! I got to see it. Yes. Oh my so gosh! It's, be, it's really. And the best part is, I, I didn't even audition for the role. They just called me. In. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. That's celebrity status, right? Now. Really? They just, just straight offers only now. Yeah. <laughs> So that was dope, yes. So Brooklyn, that's what happened. And I'm going to do a show called Sherman, Sh Sherman Showcase on Axiom. Oh, cool. nice. Yeah. Wait, did you just come back here? Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm just going to rob some of that. Get some of that on me. There we go. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> nice, guys. Well, if you, have, if you have any other fan questions, or fan questions, or any other questions, really just keep shooting them out. Me. Oh, I think I ate too many donuts. I think we did. I got a shirt crash just now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. How are we doing on? How we, we've got... Yeah, we're an hour. Another yeah. hour. There's about 120 oh, people in the, ch in the stream. Oh, 120 people in the stream. All right. Um, do you want to try? I'm kind of going to try to... Sing you a song. What kind of song do you want to hear? Do you want more game with you? Yes, of course. All right. I'm all about those games. Oh, this one. Yes. yes. Oh, can I be the person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this one's, this, this one's really simple. You have to okay. put this phone in your mouth. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Exact same thing with the mouth. <laughs> That's not the mouth. It's the same thing we're just playing, except you just can't hear. Okay. Yes. Um, so so why, don't we, why don't we switch off? Yeah, switch. So you sit here. Yeah. I'm going to go check out the snacks. You'll be great. You'll be great. <laughs> so the people playing should be on the couch. Yes. yes. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, Where are you Where are you sitting? Where are you sitting? Oh, oh, come on. Where are you sitting? Come on. Play your game. So come again, on. let's get some uh, <laughs> suggestions. So don't get me the monitor. On what okay. you oh, yeah. What should you say? Yes. Let me put on some music for a little bit. Look at me. Look at me with the beautiful eyes. I'm just going to do this. Music playing? Got music. Okay, good. Oh, okay, yeah. Look it's really good. Scream out here. Yeah. <laughs> Turn this way. All right, yeah. let's see. What do we got? Okay. I mean, that's a pretty funny sentence. Like, Fox and Sox is one of my all-time favorites. Oh, oh let's just do that. That's okay. great. That's a good one. Okay. Are you ready? Madison? Super loud in here. <laughs> I can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> I know okay. the name. Fox and Sox is one of my all-time favorites. Okay. <laughs> Is he freaking out? Like, <laughs> no idea. All right. Five. Fox. Yeah, yeah. In. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh. <laughs> Fox and Josh. Yeah. Josh. I love Josh. Josh. <laughs> Shosh. <laughs> no idea. Shosh. Fox and Shosh. <laughs> Fox in shot. Fox in shot. No. You like erase all logic and you're just like. Fox in Charleston. Oh my god. Stop. He's like, no, please. Shots. Shock. 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 Fox and shock. Can you hear your face? No, no. <laughs> I've got like panic at the disco. Yeah. You want to switch to me on You want me on this side? Yeah. Boxing. I want to see his face when he. I want to see Box and charge. Charles in charge. Box and. Sh sharks. <laughs> sharks. Sharks. Box and sharks. <laughs> Joanne is helping me. <laughs> Just give me this one word. No. no. <laughs> You're doing great. All right. Fox in charge. Charts. Shaws. Jogs. Jogs. Your mouth is moving, but there's nothing coming out. Poor thing. He just came here like, no, I'm torturing him. Shaw. Shar. Shar. Shaw. E. Shocking. <coughs> Shocking. <laughs> Fox. In. Socks. Shaws. You're saying Shaws. <laughs> I feel like this is a word that doesn't exist. So you guys are making fun of me. It's a real word. Huh? It's, it's a real word. I can't hear anything you're saying. <laughs> Shock. Shaw. Shog. 
shocks. No, shocks. No, 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 But I'm trying to see if he can roll down to. Maybe oh, no, 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 don't, don't, no, don't. Shoes. Boots. <laughs> Brent's boots. Brent is wearing boots. Socks. 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 People are dancing. They're just chanting. Oh. Should we just move on? Shocks. Yeah. Shocks. Shocks. You're doing it, you're doing it. Shark. Shock, shark. Shoss. Shies. I think it's thinking sh. It's not. Foxes are taking showers. Shawnee? Shai. Shoddy. Oh, I feel bad for him. <laughs> what is it? Shocks. Close. You're so close. You're so close. Shark. Shokes. Shocks. 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 You're doing it in great. You're doing great, Steve. I promise I'm not drunk. <laughs> Shikes. Shikes. Shock. Shikes. Shikes. Suck. Shock. Suck. Shaws. Suck. Shocker. Shocker. Shock. Poor guy. Shark. Charge. Shaj. Shoes. Slogs. Shocks. Suck. Jumps. Shocks. You promise you're not high. Just say it, just say it. Should we use this one? What's the word? Just one word. Down here, look down here. Socks. Fox and socks. Yeah! Why is everyone saying shock? You went shh. No, I'm going socks. There's a little bit more, you're almost there. Okay. Alright, fox and socks. Here. R. Making. Wait, hold on, it's loading. It's loading. Fox and socks. So loud. Fox and socks are. Bad. Bad. Made. Made. M-A-E. Bag. Uh. Mac. M or buh? Mm. Buh? Mm. Buh? <laughs> buh? Mm. Buh? Or buh? Mm. Buh? We'll go Mac. Mac. Mike? Okay. Mac? He's, he's, he's not hear anything. Ba- Mac. Mac. Yeah. Mac. Fox and socks are... <laughs> Matt. 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 Mike. 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 Oh. Mac. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great. Mac. Mac. Are my favorite thing. Fox and socks are made. My. Are mad. Are mad for thing. Are mad at everything. Are mad for things. Are made for. Are mad. I think there's a reason they do a timer in this game. Mad for thing. My favorite thing. Mad at everything? My favorite thing. <laughs> Fox and socks are my Mad. favorite thing. Are made. Fox and socks are, are my made. favorite thing. Fox say, and socks are my favorite thing. Are made. My. My. Matt. My. Matt. Matt. Me. My. Are me. My. Are mine. Ah, my. Mine. 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 Yes. mine. Mine. Might. My. Fox and socks are my. mine. My. Man. My. Mad? My. Mad. Me. Mad at me. 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 My. Next time he says just my. Mad at me. My. Excuse me, his mind. Fox and socks are my favorite thing. Fox and socks are my favorite thing. Are made for fish. We got it. Let's put one minute on the One more time. One more time. And then concentrate. Concentrate. Yeah. Fox. Fox. In socks. In socks. Are. Are. My favorite thing. Made f- my favorite thing. Mad for fifth that thing. <laughs> yes! Oh, that's 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 right. Right. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Do you want a pigeon? Yes, yes. Oh, my Alright, guys, have you guys all met Paul? No! Hi! Hi! Noemi. Amy? Noemi. Noemi? Yes. Beautiful. Fuck some Emma. Emma? Fuck some Not Emma. Not Emma. Yay! Okay. Jesse, you met Emma. Paul? Hi! Hi, I'm Jesse. Hey, Jesse. This is our center Nice to meet you. Rachel, you met Paul? Oh, kind of. Oh, yes, I'm fine. Hi! Nice to meet you. Emma, can I guess I'm not? Yeah, here, come here. Come here. No, I'll come back. You're good. Okay. What's your name? I'm sorry. I'm Julie. I'm Julie. Julie. Yeah. Oh. Nice, to nice to meet you. Ernest, ladies and gentlemen. Ernest! Ernest, you said you were going to come in here. Yeah, but everybody else jumped in. Oh. <laughs> oh. You, want, you want to be by yourself in here? <laughs> um, everybody. I don't want to see anything yeah. crowded, so, like. It'll just be you can come in. It's more crowded than so. I don't know. Just, 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 like, really. He's waiting for the right moment. Yeah. Just probably toward the end. Bernie, I'm surrounded. It's like me and exactly. all the women. Like, yeah. Yeah. Right now, it's your show, man. I don't know. Like, I feel yeah. outnumbered. Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. I feel outnumbered. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I feel outnumbered. Yeah. Like, yeah. Now it's focused on you. See? It's just oh, you. Oh, jeez. Oh, some people are saying they just got here. Hey! Hi! Hey. Hey. Oh, we're what? almost done. You missed a whole bunch of shenanigans. What? Okay, so how would you describe Paul? He sh- uh, they just got here. What is happening? How would you describe what is happening right now? How would- That's a great yeah. question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I could say it in my own words, Fox or Shaw's? <laughs> 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 First time meeting Senator Elton right now. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What did you think of him when you watched the series? Oh, I was. It actually just came back in my Facebook memories again. Oh. I remember when the show came about when we were sitting there pondering who they were going to cast as the future Mrs. It's a, Elton. It's a huge character. Like, it's a huge yeah. character. And I remember mm-hmm. like the on. Um, Oh, what was this? The Facebook group was it? Nightly Disapproves? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Nightly yeah. Disapproves. Yeah, Nightly yeah. Disapproves. Somebody just posted. They're like, Caroline Lee would be the best, and like immediately was like, this would be the best thing. Man, I wish this would happen on the show, <laughs> and it did. And it yeah. was like, the best. Yeah. And you guys did such a good job. Thank you. <laughs> just Thank being you. so snooty. Oh, no. well, that's perfect. I and and yeah, I, I think that like, Jessica was like the perfect person for that role. Oh, and, like what? Yeah. Yeah. Caroline and the Elton, it was just like immediately your stomach starts turning. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> oh. It seemed to you like really cutesy with each other, and I was just like, ugh, oh, ugh. Oh. Like, oh, it just makes you cringe. Yeah, I think too the the format was like really lent itself to me just being just. Horrible person. Like, <laughs> the camera's right there, and like, oh, you're yeah. right there, and I'm just yeah. like, you know. Just like, it was you did such a different way of shooting, too. Like, did you? Yeah. What did you think about both of you guys? What did you think about that when you first came into the set, having to like look down the barrel and to have to do all that dialogue and to have like a vlog setting? Because that's such a unique way of filming. It is. What, what did you guys think about that? Um, well, you know, I, I think at first I was like, oh, this is a uh, strange. <laughs> but, but not really yeah. because I, I did some hosting too, so I'm mean, used to oh, looking okay. in, in a camera. Yeah. But it was just interesting being able to break the fourth wall um, oh. and, and and trying not to do it so much where you're like, <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> like hi, hello, yeah. and I'm not even you know interacting with you. Not that took a wit pit for Brent and I to get get used to because they're first of all we're supposed to just us staring to the camera talking to each other. So yeah, so, but but the good thing about Maddie is she, I was very handsy. So it, yeah, yeah. so it made me like be like, oh, it started, and then be like, hey. yeah, you know, <laughs> because I love her, you know, or yeah. I love you know, or I love him. So yeah, it was it was it was actually fun. I really liked it. In nice. The close the close proximity and made it um, more intimate too. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. what did you think? Yeah, I mean, I sort of like walked in and it was a well-oiled machine at that point. Like yeah. you guys were all just. Wait. When was it? Because you came in a uh, ah, month previously. I didn't come in until 36. He was like oh, one of our I was 34. Like first added character? You know better than I do. I don't know. I'll make this for you. Thanks, Barry. Oh, Bernie! 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 Month three, so we, we episode seventeen around that area, mm-hmm. and then uh, Nakia debuted in month five, so. Mm. Close well, it was like her first. Now people did have a question, like, because uh, they were like, Maddie's like so comfortable in front of the camera, she keeps looking at it. But like, she's always. But I, but I, but I also would have known that that was happening yeah. because I'm always yeah, you, you around you it. Done them, yeah. yeah, so I was so people, but actually people in the comments were like, I mean, I think she would know because. They all have something. They're all, yeah. They're always <laughs> together, so or she's always talking to them. So I think she knows that she's doing this for prosperity. Mm. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now yeah. better. <laughs> Bernie, do you remember their audition process? These two? Do you make more sense? I mean, you've auditioned a lot of stuff. Yeah. I remember. 
Yeah? Yeah. Well, Bernie and I go way back. Do you really? There you go. Are you, are you joining? Are you I'm joining. Are you joining? Right here. 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 Right Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, we keep them coming too. Yeah. 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 So, so, the, so, so the casting on what's it? What's the question? What was casting like for Emma Fruit? What was that? What did that look like for you? <laughs> the whole process for everybody? Sure. I mean, sure. What would you okay, sure. So we started with this character you may have heard of, Emma. Um, so that was, that was kind of important. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, so we we did Emma first, and then when we had when we got you, um, then we. Uh, <laughs> Uh, went, we went to um, Harriet and Nightly, and, uh, Nightly mm -hmm. right? And we cast both of them at the same time. So the, the, the first season, the first, like you see, you can see in the first eight episodes of Emma Proof that there's really those three characters first. Oh no, no, we also did Annie Weston at the same time too. Yeah. So oh, all three yeah. at the same time. Oh, that's right. Right. So there, there was like one day, remember, like it was way back in the 2013. Yeah. Where oh. yeah, you were there for the entire afternoon. I loved everybody, all yeah. the Harriets. All the nightlies, all the end. It was so much one, fun. One after the other. So yeah. like, when Brent thought I wasn't a... Like 14 people, right? Yeah. And then... Um, what did he think? He thought I was an intern. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I didn't know she was like... But you also know if she was Emma or if she was a reader. Because uh, you never know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember, I'm going to give this little tidbit for you, that, oh. that you were... You were... Actually, okay. like halfway through the day, you were terrified. I got Because you, you, you were like... And you felt like you were auditioning for the part again. Well, because I don't, and also I didn't want to screw up the other. And like, I didn't want you to see me and go, is that what she's going to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's, that's the actor's worst thing. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're going to do? Everyone, everyone leaves. And then he's like, so Joe, I got some notes for you. And be like, oh, <laughs> me. So yeah, it was scary, but it was fun. Yeah, so uh, mm -hmm. so then started, it, was, it started there, and then we got, you know, those two and, and these, uh, these, these two. Yeah. And yeah. Alexis, yeah. who couldn't be here. Um, so, so that's month one. So you saw the first month. You saw the, the, those four. We also um, had kind of picked our, our Ryan Weston because we didn't know oh, right. oh, yeah. yeah. So we had just kind of picked him. Yeah. And and just like okay, let's just let's just use him. When we're gonna bring he him on. Like we'll night, him. Nightly, he like, was like a nightly. He was like a nightly runner up. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we thought like, oh, he's really good. Let's just let's just use him for Ryan Weston. Which is Gabriel Voss. Yeah. Yeah. Voss, correct. Great dude. Great dude. Yeah. Yeah. Good guy. Great. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we've together with him too. I remember. Mm -hmm. And then so and so after that came month two, which is the um, the B Mart mm -hmm. So that was the new character that came in. So Anne Weston's out and the B Mart's in for that second month. So we only cast B Mart. And and at that point, like like Jennifer and Isaacs has been reading for so many of our roles that we kind of like <laughs> we just like we were pretty sure we'd go with it. And then you know it's like, it we, we just like these cable we just can read against yeah, the yeah. end. And what was interesting about that, just like kind of like talk about this as a little more like it's a process, right? We we talk about our diversity and we're so proud of our diversity in our show. At that point, especially after we cast you, no offense to you, <laughs> there was actually a blowback yeah. that we were diverse. That we weren't diverse? Yeah, because at oh, that point okay. you were the only diverse person. <laughs> And so there was a lot of blowback. Well, we were like, we have like well, eight Just wait, just wait, just wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's, it's like, you know, I mean, see them 13, five years ago, you know, it's, they're just a different time now, but you gotta think about it from the perspective of like, of like, mm -hmm. you know, I, I mean, you know, when your YouTube series, we, we're following this event, it's a very liberal, progressive show, mm -hmm. very diverse, of course, mm -hmm. right? So, so, of course, the audience is like looking for diversity, and, and I, don't, I don't blame them, right? Mm -hmm. And it just made, made a very interesting discussion, like, out there in, in the audience and the fan base, where it's like, wait, 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 wait. Our Emma is literally Japanese, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you're like calling us that we're too yeah. white. Yeah, you know, like, like, and then we go like, our Emma, Emma is like, like in any American version is always been played by a white blonde, here, yeah. blonde girl, yeah. Yeah. right? So it's just like, okay, and and, and it's again, was a bone, guys. You you can you can present your argument on each side, no matter you know how, however you want. I'm not mm -hmm. saying one way is wrong, one way is right, but like, just like it was interesting. So like like yeah, I was there to the whole thing. I was mm -hmm. looking at the fans. And, and, and the audience, and that was actually a time, just personally, as we, as we reflect on the journey of it, that was a hard time mm -hmm. for me personally, mm -hmm. because yeah. it was so critical. And then, mm -hmm. of course, the show was coming off the Lizzie shadow, mm -hmm. right? It hadn't won its Emmy yet. Lizzie had just won the Emmy. Remember those days? Yeah. Yeah. Right, but it's, it's so scary. It's, it's just the shadow. It's the shadow <laughs> was there. And it's we were still that. trying to find ourselves. Like, yeah. You know, I think yeah. at that point, we were still trying to be Lizzie, but not Lizzie, mm -hmm. right? And until we kind of figured out what we wanted to be uh, as, as the show went on. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say the time we actually figured it out was when, when you two started appearing. Thanks, so, 
So <laughs> and it just it just kind of made the show more dynamic mm-hmm. and, and as a show. Where we were we were kind of very aggressive about getting more more characters in more often, and um, it just uh, again it's not like saying one show is better than the other. It's just a different. It's, totally, it's like it's siblings. It's siblings. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, trying, yeah. you're trying to make them different mm-hmm. in any way possible. So um, so then casting for you was, I mean it was just. Casting you the same way. <laughs> <laughs> but who'd you read again? Well, I had come in for Darcy, for LBD. Uh, yeah, did yeah, you really? Yeah, Darcy. Oh, did I you come in for Darcy too? I did, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You're so right. I went in for Darcy, you went for Laura, <laughs> and I knew Wes. And um, yeah, came in for Darcy, had a great time. And, you know, down the road when I came in for Elton, Elton yeah. um, I remember Jenny was like, I think, I think Paul's our guy. I, yeah. I remember, I remember uh, yeah. from Darcy, I think, I think you might be our guy. Hands down. And I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, like, dark and brooding and yeah. uh, weird and this one. The, the, I'll say, I won't, I won't say who in our team during the Lizzie Benandai. The Lizzie Benandai days, we're, we're on, the, on the producer side, so we're, just, we're like pushing for you for Darcy in the beginning. Uh-huh. Like in the initial reads, uh-huh. the uh-huh. opening reads. It was you. It was totally you. <laughs> <laughs> it was not me. It was not me. It was not me. No, 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 no. But, but like, I, I tried to stay, I mean, those of you who work with me enough in casting, you know that like, I'm pretty neutral. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of like, okay, this is what I'm feeling, but I don't have like a, you know, like, I'm not like, this is it. Mm-hmm. I always try to get my, my team around me to give an opinion. Well, you even let us, I remember yeah. Joe yeah. and I giving opinions on Elton. Yeah, exactly. Because I was struggling because mm-hmm. it was like, I remember at the time we were trying to get diverse cast and we were like, but this, we were just like, but that's this is Elton. But this guy's Elton. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, so anyway, the, the comparison was that was that if we would cast you as Darcy during Lizzie days, it would have been like casting you. It had this kind of Benedict Cumberbatch vibe. Uh-huh. Oh, Darcy. totally. And that that's the vibe. Yeah. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that's that's what that was the discussion. And so then bringing oh, back. I think when you came for Darcy, you actually wore a scarf. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> you actually wore like a scarf. Like a tool. Like a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> it did not work. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, screw that guy. You're like, nah. Nah. nah, 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 nah so nah. Elton. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone told me to wear the scarf. I wasn't going to wear the Laura? scarf. I think it was like Laura or somebody was like, who oh, oh, like, make it like hips. And I was like, cool, I'll try to be hip for five seconds. Yeah. I'm not hip, clearly. I'm wearing a sweater vest thing. Like, what, <laughs> what is this? What is no, this? No, no, no. Uh, How did it did you happen? Did you go to a wedding? Yeah. Spencer? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations yeah, on being married. Yeah. Oh, it was a gorgeous oh, wedding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was in Silver Lake. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. They looked like they had Congratulations, Laura and Michael. I saw one. I saw one oh, so far, and I want to see more of people. The show. I mean, I always loved Emma because I used to watch. I watched every Emma that ever was made. Mm-hmm. Um, my, I think my favorite is with Gwyneth Paltrow. Not even Whoa! Funny. You mean your favorite was with Joanna? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's like no, I'm just kidding. No, no, my fun. favorite is with Joanna. <laughs> but, uh, but my um, real favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I was all, I was familiar with the the. The you know the films and the book mm-hmm. before I even auditioned and then uh, I don't even think I knew that it was for that for because he just it right yeah, yeah so I went like, into this random room and read and and you know I it wasn't a one little but I went, I went to, you know it was it didn't say what it was for it was said it was for a web series and but it had a lot of lines and who who doesn't want to have a lot of lines. So I was like, and these are really great lines, and I kind of recognized it, but I was like, oh, maybe it's just like a something that they're using for the audition, because uh, it was so secret. So I go, and then I'm like, oh, well, I guess, you know, I know that, and then I get a call back, and then they finally tell me what it's for, mm-hmm. and then I'm also up against one of my really good friends who I was in a sketch group with, and I got it! <laughs> <laughs> too. <laughs> but I also but it's asked her, I can't. Right. It wasn't creepy at all. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But I also I asked, you know, before, I was like, is it okay if I, like, you know, because I'm, I'm going to be like, she, yeah, yeah, go. Do I don't think she knew to what extent. I was <laughs> yeah. like, in her face, I was like, grabbing it. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> that was awesome. But, thank thank you. You. You're welcome. Well, thank you for this. You're welcome. Uh, now, I have a question for me. Was it great? <laughs> Was it a fight? Was it a, like, did you, were, were you going to the Oh, the casting. The casting. Yeah. Oh, the casting? Uh, oh. So. I thought you mentioned the show. Like, what's the <laughs> No, no. 
the answer is yes. 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 It's one of the notes that someone had written mm -hmm. about it, and, and why and why they had liked her. I forget who that was, um, but it was like it was pretty consensus. It's like I, I can't say that anyone was a like hundred percent no brainer. Mm -hmm. Like there was always a discussion, mm -hmm. and, and when you have five or six people chiming in for uh, a, a casting choice, you're gonna have different opinions, sure. and that's fine. That's fine. Um, it's it's like, but I'm yeah. You were like we did. We no one on the show was like. The second choice, or anything like that. It was always the first choice we wanted, um, based on the auditions. And we, and a show like this was great in the sense because I've done other shows. We all worked on shows, and we've all <laughs> has been on the sides where like you lose a part because someone with a bigger name goes in and gets the part, mm -hmm. right? And I've been on that side as the, as, the, as the casting side, the producing side too. And so I understand that. I understand why you do that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it works out, and sometimes it doesn't <laughs> for quality. Mm -hmm. uh, but for this show, or in a sh our shows, what I've always liked is you kind of just went with the best person available, mm -hmm. and you can just be honest about that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. What? What? Was there a question? So we should have you recognized on your role. Oh, that one's asked, been asked a few times. Which yeah. ones get recognized or how you interact yeah, with how, how can you get recognized? Oh, I had yeah. yeah. a fine conversation with Tony about this recently because we realized we both got, he got recognized recently too. Aww. And I was like, you know what it is? It's because we get recognized in Starbucks because so many of our fans yeah. watched us in high school <laughs> and middle school. <laughs> and now they're like, have their first job at Starbucks. Huh? And then you go in and then they're like, are you an actor? Like it's happened so many times and it's just, it's really adorable. That's, yeah. It's always so nice when that happens too because it's just, it like, Especially before we did the reboot, mm -hmm. people were like, oh, you know, I really liked your Emma approved. Like, oh, people watch it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's, just, it's a nice, it's a very, it's a sweet and very humbling and very flattering uh, experience when it happens. One yeah. time yeah. I got yeah. brought yeah. in for an audition uh -oh. by someone who watched the show. No! Nice. Yes, yeah, nice. I was totally fine with that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, pressure! Yeah. Me? Pressure. No, I don't know if I bombed I don't. I don't think I bombed it, but I did get brought in for it. And she was like, yeah, and, but even the way she's the casting lady, she was like, yeah, my friend. Um, my one of my assistants watched you on some some uh, web series and thinks you're great. Oh, I was like, well, okay. I think. Hello. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Even the assistants think you're great. <laughs> it's true. We do. <laughs> I just want to be telling them great all the time. Keep going. <laughs> I think Brent Isaacs and I got recognized at the Renaissance Fair. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh that's awesome. That was very good fun. I feel like I feel like I have some stories of like fans coming up to me and being like, "Oh, you're Brett Bailey from Emma Approved." Oh, my God. <laughs> that's amazing. Because I'm standing next to Brett, and they ah. and I'm like, I was. I was. Out. I was. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, yes, I was. I was also too. <laughs> yeah, I was also too. <laughs> also too. Um, Do you answer this question? Oh yeah, this one's been this one's been asked about Bernie. How what was the process of modernizing the story? Oh, mm. I know some things. Too. Uh, so, so how was the process of modernizing the story? Some things stayed the same, but a whole lot had to change. The story makes sense in the modern world, and was done so well. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, well, so again, kind of separating the Lizzie Bennet Diaries and Emma Approved, kind of um, the kind of going into them. So for Lizzie Bennet Diaries, we went into that show trying to make it as accurate to the book as possible. Like just like we were hitting paragraphs and chapters. We were we were we were trying to hit singular scenes in in the novel and in uh, making the episodes. So that was something we did there. And Emma Approved, we. At least, I mean, I went into it trying to make a kind of, again, a very different show. Um, so, like, in Emma Approved, I like to say, like, the show is really, it's it's uh, the Emma Knightley story. It's the Emma Knightley partnership. And that's not what Emma the book is about. <laughs> no, no, it's a partnership. What partnership? It, it, it's yeah. not that at all. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's not Emma, Emma herself, her relationship with her father, eventually Knightley. Yeah. That, so, like, it's a very different base. I mean, you can cover a lot of the plots mm. of... of Emma, for sure, but it was a very conscious choice to not try to hit that exact uh, adaptation that, that Lizzie Bennet always did mm -hmm. to, to a very, I'll biasly say, a very accurate level, mm -hmm. um, again, because we were trying to be very, very accurate. And so there were people who, like, 
who were who were big fans of that of the adaptation of Lizzie and and, and like would would actually track the adaptation every month. Like, mm. Wow, like, that's a play. dedication. Yeah, yeah. So they watch wow. like episode, for example, like sixteen and, and notes from chapter seven, paragraph two. Whoa! And then they catch it, and I'm like, yes, that's exactly where I got it from. We and yeah, so we knew what was going on. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and, and we were, I don't think we ever really did that. Right, right, right. Yeah. I didn't. No. Really, I don't think I, I never went in any of the episodes that I wrote and went you know, sniped a, a paragraph and said, make this an episode. Mm-hmm. While I know episode 16 of Liz Bennett Diaries, I literally went and sniped that paragraph from the episode and put it in. Mm-hmm. So, like, so that's a, just a different mindset going yeah. into to the show. And, and what, what I wanted to make the show feel like is this kind of, like, a Bantry, fun, con- like, like, sitcom almost. Like, fun series. Mm-hmm. And so you, you had the things of, I mean, Lizzie has this too, like, people coming in and out, all the things and, and like the timing of the cuts. Like one of my favorite ones was was like when you come back uh, for the second time, uh, like she's like saying like everything how everything's great and looking forward and everything and then it's like you're just sitting there by the door and it cuts to you yeah. and like hello Emma. It's like why would it cut there? Like there's no reason why it would cut there, but it, it, it's sure funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, actually, I have a question. So you started with the did you start with Elizabeth Bennett, right? The yeah, yeah. First? That was the first one. What made you even decide number one? To, to do something on this scale in with how how were you able to implement all of the stuff too like the company the 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 online presence the the actual web series and then doing the box hill you know like the off off shoots where you can yeah break. yeah yeah of did course. you just sit down one day and just like, poo you're it, it's <laughs> no 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 not that. It, it goes it it it, it starts from. It starts and grows. So, this is diary started with, we're going to adapt the book on YouTube. That's it. Okay. We're going to adapt the book on YouTube. We didn't say anything like, oh, yeah. it's going to be a, a this and this and this and this and this and this and all that stuff. So, as we went, you, if, you, if you get into follow the timeline of Liz Bennett Diaries, you'll see that we kind of add stuff as we go. Like, we add more Twitter. We add uh, a, a fashion blog. We add more people doing traffic. We add second people doing video series. We, we, we add so many things as we go, mm-hmm. right? And then for what, and Elizabeth, when Elizabeth Bandard ends, we have everything. Right? Mm-hmm. We have like this whole ecosystem, you know, 13 Twitter accounts, 35 social media profiles, blah, 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 all this crazy stuff. Four, four video accounts that are all posting videos, all that. And when that ended and we started doing Emma, so now the benefit of it is that you've, you've done everything. Mm-hmm. You've done like every single thing and you know what works and you know what, at least uh, uh, attempt-wise, didn't work. Mm-hmm. So, and by didn't work, me, I mean, didn't get as much traction <laughs> with a large enough com- uh, set of the viewer base mm-hmm. to make it the, the energy it takes to send someone like an Emma or like someone over there to like, create that content. Right. Because it takes time, it takes it's resources to do that stuff. So, so we knew Twitter worked, we knew that worked, we knew second videos worked, and we knew at that point we had done the fashion blog for um, uh, Laura's hair, mm-hmm. Jane, right, Jane. And so we knew those worked. And, we, and as I was designing Emma, I re- went into Emma specifically going, this is going to be a fashion blogger. So our Emma Woodhouse is a fashion blogger and an entrepreneur, first and foremost, and then designing everything around that. Mm-hmm. So when Emma started, mm-hmm. you actually had everything. Right. The website yeah. was up, the, fl- the blog was up, the right. Twitter was still going, mm-hmm. you had the advice columns. Granted, they got better as they went. Mm-hmm. I, I will admit, they, they, they weren't great at the beginning, mm-hmm. they got better. The fashion blogs got better, mm-hmm. right? And so we had to, we had to try those things. But the, the idea of it was that Emma Woodhouse, when, when Emma Poot started, we had kind of tested a lot of things already. Mm-hmm. We, we, were, we were defined as to what we could do um, at, at a pretty high level. And, in, and we, we kind of pulled back on a lot of things. Yeah. So I think every fan in the chat who followed Lizzie Van Dyers would, would, would probably, fairly, mm-hmm. you know, I take this as a criticism, say that the Twitter experience with Van Dyers was far superior yeah. to the Emma Poot Twitter experience. And I would say you're probably right <laughs> about that because we didn't focus on that right. as much. Lizzie Van Dyers was so focused on the Twitter right. experience. Right. So, so um, the the, it, the that's not saying we had bad Twitter. We had plenty of Twitter. We had like the blogs were all there. There was just this, this synergy there that all dry, drove to the fashion blog, the website, the video series. Like it was what I called the echo chamber of Emma Prude, mm-hmm. the world. Mm-hmm. Okay, while Lizzie Van Dyers was more focused on like just all these characters, these characters like kind of you know like thrown around, 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 thrown around, all kind of connected by a single line. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, sorry, I got a little nerdy, but you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> if, if, if I have a whiteboard here, uh, I, you, you would see. Yeah, yeah. I would, draw, I'll, I'll, I would draw a lot of lines oh, you're genius, yes. and circles and arrows. <laughs> I mean, but to have won an Emmy twice, I mean, you know, that's not like a shot of, you know, 
It's like like a you know, I think we're just gonna yeah. yeah. I think you like started well, that you, know, you catch one lightning bottle of lightning and then you go around to another lightning storm, you try to catch <laughs> 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 bottles like that. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, yeah, the, uh, Val, you said about the time Stan and shut down Twitter. Well, yeah, we actually had that problem with, with Emma when it started. And it actually kind of, like, I, I, I think it really consciously changed my perspective of using Twitter. Mm -hmm. And so what happened was, I think when, I think it was when Emma started, that, um, like, a week in, before Emma started, for some reason, like, we created all the accounts, you know, all your characters' accounts, the well, main characters' accounts, right? <laughs> um, and then, and then all of a sudden, like even people who were planting, like Frank Churchill, we had we had created also, like he wouldn't, he wouldn't appear for a while. Mm -hmm. We had made all these accounts, and then Twitter banned all the accounts, like over a weekend. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, okay. <laughs> and then like, so I tweet about it, and I'm like, I'm upset. I kind of like, I understand kind of what happened and how I built, how I made the accounts. It, it was weird because they all had separate email addresses, but they were all from the same domain. It was really mm -hmm. complicated, but mm -hmm. I can see how they could see how they were. Oh, perhaps they were fake. Mm -hmm. But I just went like. I, I, it's just the irony of like we had just done this with these minute diaries two months ago. We had one me Emmy. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, no problem with this. And then we do this again, and they ban it. They ban the entire system. And it was I don't think it was a single person going mm -hmm. oh going blah. I'm gonna ban this. I think it was just the ecosystem or the the mechanisms of Twitter that just did it. And it made me think about the whole system where we need to go like you know what I'm not gonna build this show on Twitter mm -hmm. this time. Mm -hmm. It just I'm not gonna use someone else's sandbox yeah. to build this house. I'm going to use my use the own house. Yeah. Um, build someone's sandbox to build a house that you said? Build my own house and someone else's sandbox. Okay, that's, yeah. that's a great metaphor. <laughs> yeah, that was a great metaphor, yeah. You know, the other thing that was like kind of what you touched on is I feel like Emma approved is a is a is an adaptation that's bigger in scope. Yeah. You know, you sort of approached it from a, a more expansive yeah. uh, like you said, like you already had, you know, you sort of built that story into the infrastructure of Emma approved, the lifestyle blog, the mm -hmm. fashion yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, so that was already there. It wasn't yeah. just yeah. it's not yeah. just a story turned you know, updated into a contemporary story, it's brought into a whole digital realm of course. that I think is is really ambitious. I mean look what say it's Emmy worthy. What? Wow. Prevailing these You're not on screen right now, Brent. <laughs> But like, like you're, you're right. But that's the idea of it. Like, like I always look at you know, um, if those of you in the in the chat or whatever are looking at you know web series, we have actors, we producers, we have writers here, and the team that works with me, I always can get them, try to get them to open their minds, looking beyond just the video, mm -hmm. because video is is fine, right? The video's great. We're on video now. I, I assume it's good. You know, I but assume like, it's good. I assume it's good. <laughs> right? But but uh, the 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 internet is so much more than just video. Yes. Okay, as you yeah. as you say. And by that point, you know, like, like we've all been on the internet since like whatever the mid '90s. It's yes. something that we're all that age, old, and uh, we can all like know that there's more to the internet <laughs> than the internet than, than, than web video. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. web photos. Yeah. There's there's social media. Yeah. There's these things. So when you're building a story experience, like at that point, I I following a couple of fashion bloggers. I I've done a series about a fashion blogger. I've done mm -hmm. the series of looks, <laughs> um, which had West had a hold in it, <laughs> and. Uh, uh, and I, and I, I, at that point, I would followed that world so well, and I was just like, okay, why shouldn't uh, Emma Woodhouse as a fashion blogger modernized makes absolute sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. And if I build that way, I can synergize across all everything a fashion blogger synergizes against right now, and that gave us a lot of benefits, like all the wardrobe. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Boom. So like, like I remember. Um, an Elton smartwatch. An Elton smartwatch. Oh, that, was, that was so cool. Though. Yeah, we still have that piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. And and so like that's that's the perfect example of this. So like people go, people like to like to say. I remember Jessica said this in some behind the scenes, and this is you know fine thing to say. I don't. I don't she was, she was like, because she was on those shows. Mm -hmm. And so Lizzie Van Diaries, when she was in the Van Diaries, she had to bring like her own wardrobe. Right. Okay. And it's, it's, it's hard. Like, I know that. Especially for, for the women actors, right? I know that recovering your own wardrobe is difficult. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's tricky. It just gives you something else to worry about. Yeah. And you want to just come in and just do your lines, mm -hmm. right? And do your performance. I understand. And when you're low budget, you, 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 have, you can't, right? Like, yeah. I, like, I, I need you to bring some wardrobe, mm -hmm. right? So now we're approved. When we built that fashion blog in right away, we solved it. Yeah. Like all the wardrobe was covered. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. It so paid for itself. Mm -hmm. Like like so we were the more wardrobe we we got, the more we were able to get. Like it was like a snowball effect mm -hmm. of wardrobe and transmedia mm -hmm. and all this stuff. So so uh, it just the synergy of it was so <laughs> strong that like you know no care. I think the, like Joanna duplicates one outfit once 
in 72 episodes. Mm -hmm. 72, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I know, I, I don't do it. <laughs> yeah, you, you do it because it's one, no, it's, it's one, it's one day. Yeah, it's one day. So right. there's no, there's no, there's no one day when yeah. and she She's wears like, the same. She's like, don't, I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I mean, I mean, even though, like, this Man Diaries is 100 episodes and Ashley's in, like, 90% of them, she duplicates outfits. Like, because she, she's, it's her outfits, it's the character. Like, yeah. It makes sense, you know? It, it makes sense with the character. And the idea that Emma Woodhouse doesn't duplicate an outfit actually makes sense with the character, too. It does. Yeah. You know? Also, probably just on hair, makeup, and, and wardrobe. This is Vanessa. She helped Hi. Vanessa. Hi. 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 Yes, yeah. Yeah, so that's, yeah, no, that's a whole thing. It's a, that's the fun part about the show, too, is how much of... The hair and makeup and wardrobe was a whole fun character in itself. Mm -hmm. I like, yeah, absolutely love that. I think, I think to uh, just to finish up kind of what you were saying there is like, you realize that social interaction on the internet was its own form of entertainment. Absolutely. Ah, so yeah. There's, there's right. storytelling and there's the adaptation and there's the source material, but what you were banking on is people interacting is yeah. entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is, you know, yeah. this is entertainment. I would yeah. say like a solid. <laughs> 50% of the tweets I sent as like characters in the first like month or so we brought back the show were responses to people because cool. the Everly Digital fandom is super active. Yeah. Like they fr all freaked out when Emma tweeted. Aww. So much room for like interaction and character growth because of everyone tweeting. It's like 50% of the Twitter. Yeah. This also probably goes back to if you want to just know how to do, you know, it starts with an idea and then you just go do it. Did the funding start? Did you have funding first or did you do the thing and then you got funding? Uh, so Lizzie Van Dyers was first funded by Hank Green, mm -hmm. who, who only paid for, I'm not saying you shouldn't pay for more, he, he only, he started us out with, with... He paid for lunch once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just paid for money. <laughs> Um, he, he covered the he covered the amount to cover the first three months of Emma of of, of, of Lisbon and Diaries, mm -hmm. okay. And because it was such a hit right away, we were actually able to stay, and we were using paying people very little, mm -hmm. right? Um, we were able to sustain and continue before until we partnered with Kim Community, which mm -hmm. is where uh, Devin, where you where we all shot Emma Proof. Mm -hmm. And so the the deal the, 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 the deal with with them was was simply that they would fund uh, the rest of Lisbon and Diaries, so they did. And then they would fund a in, in, in Hollywood. It's it's the irony of this. I, I I think of like how much of a dick I was. <laughs> I'm like because they, they used to give me a blind deal. They basically mm -hmm. said, well, you you'll finish Lizzie Bennet Diaries, mm -hmm. and you can do whatever show you want to do next for this amount of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically the same amount of money. Mm -hmm. And and then and at, like at that point, I, I don't know why I was actually not upset about the set to them. I was like I wanted more, and it was just greedy. But it's like it's it's very rare to get that opportunity to basically be blind mm -hmm. and basically say do whatever you want, mm -hmm. go crazy, mm -hmm. and um, and I could have done whatever I wanted, and and I, I and for me though I I like to say like I want to be a good partner, and so Kin Community um, still to this day is a very kind of female driven network. They do a lot of uh, lifestyle stuff. I think Joe's done stuff some stuff for them still. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Chris Kwan worked for them for a while, and uh, um, I want to be a good partner. So I, I actually designed Emma Approved to be very them. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't make it like. Oh, it's gonna be like a sci-fi version or a very like male version of mm -hmm. Emma Approved. Uh, I made it like a very kin community type series of Emma Approved, and then so they, 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 we we did it that way. And they and you know like they, they gave us a lot of things that were um, that what we call in the industry are uh, covering a lot of soft costs, mm -hmm. meaning that you know you you saw what we shot, mm -hmm. totally free. Mm -hmm. They let us shoot there. Mm -hmm. uh, Ninety-five percent of the gear we shot with mm -hmm. was theirs. Mm -hmm. We didn't buy any gear. Mm -hmm. That's nice. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, right? And then and then when we, when we use their offices, they they of course have have um, you know snacks at their office, so we didn't have to supplement the, the crafty bar. Right. <laughs> you know? So like I mean, you think about like it, it's it's it good crafty too. Yeah. 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 It was really it wasn't but <laughs> but the idea of it is is that is that <laughs> you you <laughs> you you try to like uh, be very. Um, Resourceful, yeah. the way you have, and um, and so uh, I mean, Kin Community as a company has been very supportive of, and of course they've also you know you know gotten got, got, got their cut from the the show, but mm -hmm. like like they they helped actually fund part of Sanitan. They they the you know, part of Sanitan was not actually covered by the uh, the the Kickstarter, but <laughs> they was taken covered by Community because mm -hmm. they, they actually wanted to do something with it, um, mm -hmm. and then uh, uh. And so they also let us, you know, run Frankenstein out of there. We didn't shoot Frankenstein. That was a YouTube space, right? YouTube space, I believe. Yeah, we didn't shoot Frankenstein at the, at the offices, uh, but a lot of Santa was shot at those offices. So mm -hmm. a lot of those, a lot of those sets were there. Um, so that's what. Uh,
the whole ecosystem. So if you have one word of advice for anybody on, I'm all like, I feel like. I like it. I like it. Yeah, you're moderating this. I, but I, I, have, I have questions too. <laughs> 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 you have to you have to like, yeah. If you have one word of advice for anybody. I want to answer that Bucky question. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, so why did you, Bucky asked, why did you decide to bring Emma Poop back? So you all had such a good time. We had such a good time. Um, so I'm going to tell us from my point of view, and you guys can just jump in. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 I always wanted the show to come back. Yes, uh, we're trying to bring it back yeah. since we ended. Yeah, I was trying to bring the show back for 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 years, um, and I was trying to bring it back in a in a way that was different than how we did. Yeah. Like I didn't want to just like because we saw the office, we could have just like yeah. set the cameras up again and rolled the you know, cameras that is exactly the same way we had just done it. Um, and, and I wanted to find a way of doing it, so uh, we tried and tried um, various different ways, and then. Uh, it just never came came to fruition, and then the opportunity to do the Emma Poop Moments game came up as just this thing where this was, I'll admit, you know, completely just like I wanted to try doing a new game, and I wanted to use something that I didn't have to create all these new characters for, mm-hmm. and I th- I saw it as a beneficial way to like you know, not, not only test the content uh, or or test the game, but test like oh are people still interested. You know, the audience, are you still interested in this, sh- in, in this, in this world? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, uh, and then I, I banked in the whole idea, like, all right, I'm going to try to you know, double down on content here and, and make it uh, the Emma Moments game, which is, is out, by the way. You can still play it. Um, is a, uh, like I say, an Emma sequel, but a Persuasion prequel. Mm-hmm. You know, the idea was that it was a prequel to Persuasion because it introduces Anne Elliot. It's mm-hmm. not a spoiler. Well, it kind of is, but <laughs> you'll get that when you just start playing the game. <laughs> right. Play the game. Play the game. And and so at that point, um, like when you do a game and you you for this old IP, technically unless you actually need the actors to shoot stuff mm-hmm. for the game, you don't really need the actors, right? You know the, the the team here, and certainly could have done that way. But I I like working with the Emma group team. Yeah, I like uh, the idea of potentially using them like in video content in the show. So just ask. You know, it's like, hey, this is something I'm trying to do. You don't have to. You don't. You don't have to be a part of it. You don't want to. If you want to, you want. If you want to uh, move on with your career or whatever, like that's totally respectable to me. I have no problem. Oh whatever, yeah. whatever choice you have to make. If you want to be a part of it. You don't. Have, you don't have to be a part of it. Okay. Yeah. I just you know, give me the courtesy of letting them be part of it, but inviting them that if you want to be a part of it, I will build you into the content of the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, with new content, with new like video content or photo content or whatever, right? Like just some way. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so, so the, the, uh, the, the idea of it was then to, uh, that's how it started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so then that, that became conversations with Joanna and Brent and, and Day. And then as, as Day said, like, I've been trying to bring the show back for years. Mm-hmm. And then it became like, you know what, wait, 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 wait a second. Let's actually have a conversation about bringing the show back now. Like, what can we do about the show now? Mm-hmm. And um, so, like, I, I have, like, you know, Someone moved on in my my work, and then we've gotten to the space here where we're at right now. And then the idea of like, okay, what if we just shot a new cycle here? And here we are. Mm-hmm. And I, well, then they had to approve, of course, too. Yeah, Joanna and Brent approved. Yeah. Just yeah. <laughs> Joanna and Brent. Yeah. Once Joanna said yes, it was on. That's <laughs> most things, man. <laughs> no, yeah. I uh, well, first off, the I love the character. Love the show, love the story that we told, love the whole team that we had when we made the first round. So the idea of working with these people again seemed like a great idea. And it does, it, to be completely honest, it does make me really sad that we you can't give you guys more. But um, I think this has been like a really nice way to hopefully let you guys know that we can no longer bring you any more, more episodes of Emma Approved. But are so freaking grateful for all of your views and your support. So, but yeah, the main reason why I wanted to come back was because of, of everything you've seen these past few hours. Yeah, mm-hmm. we became sort of a family here, and then yeah. we just, we loved bringing content for you guys. Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a little weird. I'm glad you like the set. What's up? Day, you got, um, you, why did you come back? Wow, well, all <laughs> Um, 
<laughs> well, I know you heard about my flourishing career earlier. <laughs> um, but no, I like exactly what Joanna said. Like we the chance to work with everyone again. Like we became a family. We worked together for a year. We saw mm -hmm. each other for like this really intense few days, like almost every month. Um, and you know, we've kept in contact, but it's hard to stay in contact and not, you're always busy, it's hard. Mm -hmm. And so the idea of getting to come back to these characters and be this group of people was just like a dream. It was such a nice surprise. Like it's yeah. really sad it's over, but it's kind of amazing that it got to happen at all. Absolutely so well said, yeah. I'm just like holding on to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a testament to the, to the people too, the work and you being, mm -hmm. enjoying each other so much that you would come back. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then we have like an awesome new team too. That yeah. Yeah. And then everybody's so lovey and loving and so awesome. I actually have, do we have time for more questions? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, sure. I, I just wanted to, one more thing for Bernie along with that is like, I feel like, I'm curious if when you started the, when, when you started Pemberley and LBD and, mm -hmm. and all, you know, on and on and on, um, if you intended to build uh, a positive well, space on the internet for, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you intend to create a you know a place for like positivity on the internet and, and yeah. positive social interaction with fans and among cast members and you know I feel like there's you know the internet can be kind of a dark place sometimes and I feel like Pemberley is a spot that I feel like most people can come and expect a really optimistic positive That's outlook a and, and yeah. a place that they feel welcome and safe and did you intend to create that or was that kind um, of organic? I, I think it was organic. I can't take credit for that one. Um, I, I think if there's credit to be given on that one, I have to give credit to Hank, mm -hmm. Hank Green on that one. Mm -hmm. um, I can't take credit for that one. I mean, of course I want that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? But I, I just think... Emma Bruce. You know, like, of course, of course I want positivity on the internet. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm, you know, personally, um, I'm a, today I'm very skeptical about the, the, you know, the internet as a whole, with mm -hmm. what we are as a society right now, but... <laughs> when I was about that, but like back, the, you know, back then, like Hank had, had been doing, Hank and John had been doing their thing for like you know five years at that point or whatever it was, and and I, I, I you know, first working with Hank, the first or these working with Hank, you know, Hank and I, we we jive very well, but I, I can't say that I understood Hank's audience day one. Like mm -hmm. I, I, I take no credit for that. I think Hank had to, um, I had to learn about like that area, which is a great. Very positive world, the 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 the, the, uh, the Nerdfire community, yeah. uh, which was the base, the, I'd, say, I'd say the backbone of, of a lot of the Pemberley audience, mm -hmm. and. And so, and so, at, at, once once we went, I mean, mm -hmm. like, like there were a lot of things that, like Lizzie Bennet Diaries, we, we did in the show Lizzie Bennet Diaries, which were which was kind of a little you know kind of centered toward Hank's audience. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it was going to be like the Hank Green Lizzie Bennet Diaries. Though for a while, this is going incredibly comical to everybody here. There was like a, a, a group of the audience that, that thought that Hank was going to be Darcy. You <laughs> <laughs> guys like really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, it was there. I know you're in there. People who, people who remember this this, this I era. Make it for I would too. Know? That would be like, amazing. Like, and then he had to make actually like say some of his videos. Like, I will not be playing Darcy. <laughs> 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 and so, and so, uh, oh, the app is called Moment Moments. Stories. Moment Stories, right? Um, and uh, the um, the another another thing we did too, because the because the community was it was such a community, right? So they're like, um, there's also this area where, where what's what's his name? Uh, the editor. Shoot. Which one, Sam or? No, 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 no. On, on, on Hank's team. Oh. Um, I didn't know. Internet. Who is Hank Green's editor? Go. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, and no googling. Somebody wins a prize. Bernie, I said no googling. I'm, I'm googling this because this is like, the only podcast. Yeah. It's like I already I'm win. Too, no. I got two <laughs> Emmys. We uh. We had a couple, so, uh, a couple of cast members that were that never made it to screen, right? Wait. Sorry. What was it? What was the question? Uh, well, Bernie's trying to figure out the editor of the Yeah. yeah. Um, so, did we you actually know, had you cast make the brother. habit of kind mm -hmm. of like asking, um, Go ahead. asking fans to come and join the show? Like, as far as yes. um, content. Michael Aranda? Michael Aranda, so, there it is. Thank you. Oh my God! Hey, we did! Oh, we did! Yeah, that's the one we did. Yeah, 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 we Oh, Rachel. Yeah. Hey, Rachel. Yeah. So, <laughs> not, 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 oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. All right. So, yeah, so Rachel remembers this, but like, like, okay, so 
We're, uh, uh, this is... This is on the internet somewhere, I'm sure, right? Mm. So we're in Elizabeth Diaries. We had, we had just revealed Collins, Matt's Collins. Okay, so this is like episode 40, 38, something like that. Okay, we're, we're, we're going along. And then we go to, we go to LeakyCon, okay? Le LeakyCon. And we're there to show a clip and we'll do some, you know, some stunt reveals and everything. And uh, so we show a clip of Matt's Collins, right? And, we're like, we're, and we, have a, we have a cast reveal. At that point, Michael Ronda had been this rumored Darcy as well because he had worked in the show. He's part of Hank's group, right? He's a good-looking dude, right? So, like, like part of it, there's actually some logic there. <laughs> that, that, that is it. And I say this because you know, like, we all thought it was funny. Michael thought it was funny. Hank thought it was funny. And so we we did this thing where where um, I, I don't know if we revealed Wes as as uh, Wickham first or second. But we had this like, all right, and then we have a, it, it, so we're at the panel at LeakyCon, and we go, we have a special announcement. I'd like uh, Michael Ronda to come up on the stage, please. Uh. And, he's, and he's sitting way in the back row, <laughs> purposely, mm. and then like everyone like tur turns around, looks in the back, and he starts running up, and everybody gets like all really excited, gets up on the stage, and he kicks the mic, and he goes, I just wanted to say, I will not be playing. <laughs> 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 So much pressure on that one. Yeah. Right? I mean, he, DVD's great. <laughs> like, like DVD's it. Like, it's that's, amazing. That's it, right? But like, there, that process was like there was so much going into like, okay, what is modern Darcy supposed to look like? Supposed to be? And, like, what is that? Mm -hmm. And it's kind of you know, gonna be this guy, <laughs> this guy. Where you go? Right. Right. There, right? All these guys that like, like that we go. We all auditioned for it. Y'all auditioned for it. Yeah, you all auditioned for it. And and the only thing at that point for Darcy that we had we had said. Was that he was tall? <laughs> that was the only like variable that we right. still didn't get. Yeah. 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 Okay. He only had to be tall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, like, but then, but then, then like, that screw that up, guys. <laughs> but, like, and, it's kind of like to any <laughs> any like Prime Minister fan. You say you say what is Darcy? Like what are the characteristics? Tall. Tall. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like. Man, 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 I'm saying that that we can't can't look up. Yeah. Well, British fictional. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's American Darcy? You know that's that's the, that's the thing. And so I, we we did like three rounds of like round ones. Yeah. So round ones of this, and then we did like three rounds of round twos. Three rounds of round. And something like that. It was crazy. Um, they just like like three three groups. I mean, we we took some time. We yeah. we, we, we 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 planned advance. We did. A, we took we took a lot of time. And I remember uh, our first day of reading Darcy. I think uh, Ashley was there reading with us. Like she was reading against the reader. Yeah, she was. And she was there for like seven hours. And she must have read against like eighty Darcys. Yeah. Wow. Like eighty people. Yeah. And and yeah, it was like you know, oh, most you could almost tell immediately that they were not going to be it. Yeah. That's casting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like they walk in, you just like, okay, this is probably not going to be it. Oh. And then yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and just to, somebody just made a comment too about our send off and saying goodbye. Um, I'm glad you guys had fun, had fun with us today. Yeah. Like this was the whole goal was to make sure that you guys were first and that you got this news uh, from us personally, mm -hmm. uh, and that we could at least interact with you for a little bit. So I just I wanted to address that last comment. That was very. Um, I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Yay! When oh wait, you had a question about interactivity. <laughs> Or the audience. I think you answered it. Um, okay. I, I had asked just just had you had you planned on creating this kind of like wholesome positive oh, space. Oh, yeah. Well, well, for the producers and the co-producers and everybody that's been involved behind the scenes, were you all fans of the show as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm just now I'm, I'm just now not. meeting you too. And <laughs> if not, yeah. You know, like, what made you? And I, this is a question for each of you if you want to answer because I, I like to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, being a fan of the show is that something that really prompted you? Because you, did you have an idea like this was probably what you would be working on, or you no. just wanted to work on <laughs> something for Pim Pimberly Digital? Um, like I kind of said, I mean, I watched, st started watching Pimberly stuff from apparently week two of Lizzie Bennet died. Yeah, so was, um, and so then of course, like I watched every single episode of Emma and was such a big fan of it. Okay. So fortunately, you know, 
last summer of Cumberly Digital posted on their social media, which I still follow. <laughs> uh, no, oh, crap. Hey, okay, we need people for a project. And I was like, okay, cool. I, I'm unemployed. I'll try. <laughs> so I got it. And then, like, to see from my thing, it was like, well, we're bringing back Emma. And I don't remember what my face was, but it probably was like a... <laughs> <laughs> I, so before I was saying it's full circle for me because when I watched it in high school, I was uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. oh, yeah. uh, born in the night. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> poor thing. But, but Lizzie Bennett was one of the shows that made me actually want to study media and get into media. So for this to be like the first project I got to produce, like out of school, mm-hmm. it was like a really it's full circle. It's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Like it's something I really really cared about. So that was really cool to get to like meet you guys and work with you guys and mm-hmm. yeah. be part of the family. Yeah. yeah. And Vanessa, you worked with Bernie before, right? Um, we worked on Artificial. Yeah, so I was um, very happy to come in and, and uh, get to be a part of yet another amazing experience. And I, I told Bernie, I was like, you surround yourself with good people. That was, uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's really, really true. And so mm-hmm. to be brought into this universe that had so many, like, when I was talking to Jesse about how she came to be a part of this, I was like, this is so far-reaching. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It's just it's been really, really fun. Why did you really decide fun. to do that? Like, yeah. ask the, the fans to, or... Did you did you say I'm gonna ask fans to do this or did you just you mean, like, you, hey, mean, you, mean, you mean to apply? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, so like, it's tricky. Um, so you want. I mean, how to explain this? When 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 you're uh, like asking for a team in production, mm-hmm. okay. So if you say, oh, there's a production job or there's an assistant job out there, so that everybody who wants an assistant job will ask them to, to go for that job, mm-hmm. of course, mm-hmm. right? Some will be more qualified, some won't be, and some will be so that balance of it. And well, the problem with our, our kind of uh, ecosystem or industry is that, is that uh, like, the work we do is still sometimes judged as lesser work. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not TV, it's not film, okay? it's experimental, it's, it's digital, it's lesser. And, and so. We've got, we just, just Sorry, we're just we're five ready. minutes left, so we wanted to bring everybody in. There's no one there. Your question. Yeah. The, the, um, so why you why you put the, the job post on Pemberley mm-hmm. is you get people who really care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's what you're going for. I'm not saying that I've hired only from Pemberley, mm-hmm. but it's been you know pretty good. Like the people there there are uh, if you look at um, the cast uh, the crew of the original Emma, right? Mm-hmm. The original Emma. There was Angelique uh, and uh, Anna who were who were interns on the show. <laughs> Um, <laughs> nice, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Good job! That's efficiency. Good job. We started day one as interns, mm-hmm. and then they became full fledged writers in the right, show. Right. So they got to, one of them got to direct an episode, mm-hmm. and it's like, it's like that's, the, that's the care they have when, when they're given the shot. And so the idea of, of, a, of a Jesse and a Rachel and an Emma. Oh, um, Julie. And Julie. And Julie! Julie. Yeah. 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 Like, all coming from basically. Now, those two posts, mm-hmm. like you know, to bring be able to bring in four people who who care about the show, who who can do that, and they're, they're not all here too. There are other people who work on the show. Who oh, there's a bunch of people who aren't here. You know, yeah. there are people who wrote, wrote on the show, uh, who have credits on a writer credits on the show, who, who didn't get a chance, you know, to be here, to be here, mm-hmm. Rita, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So like all these people had a chance to, to do this, and I, I think like you, you know, sure. You could have like oh gone to a TV writer and sure. brought in a TV writer and had her had him or her do an episode and improve, but I just think it means more. <laughs> you, well, plus they, that's their fan yeah. that they know the history of yeah, the voices yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. Like, better than some of the actors. Yeah, yeah. The right, yeah. 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 It's so true. <laughs> it's it's so like, like, yeah. I got to write fan fiction and then like see so you guys like. <laughs> <laughs> A little, I, well, I would love to hear just like uh, from everybody if you want to say one last little thing out to uh, everyone that's been watching the stream. If you want to say one thing, to, uh, just like one little last Emma approved moment um, before we have to wrap this up. Mm-hmm. If you, yeah. Go, oh, go. goodness, that's so much pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call this out because I've, I've always promised I'd call it out. So, Solid Social Awkward Darcy is the credited fan who gave us the Caroline Thank you 
for so many years of amazingness on your account. That's yes. awesome. Again, I'm a fan. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 awesome. So, nice. so if you feel up, if you feel you're building a fan, yes. it's, like, it's like that's <laughs> something where I go, um, I give complete credit. Yeah. 100% of credit for that. I didn't come up with that idea. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, there's a Tumblr post which, which she has shown me. Uh, <laughs> and, and I go, great, credit's yours. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. That's awesome. And because and it was that Tumblr post which made me call Kate Rourke, and I'm like, hey, Kate, what do you think about <laughs> Caroline who creates placing Vesta Hawkins? Mm -hmm. And she went, I saw that Tumblr He's post too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah. yeah awesome. so that was great. And so the other one, the other thing in, in the fans that they gave us that I give credit to the fans, and I don't think this is social or Joshi specifically, but I know she probably helped with this. Um, is the uh, the Gigi and Fitz Williams like uh, like friendship mm -hmm. like their like BFF friendship that wasn't planned when we first started there. Right. It just it was it was one of those things where we we saw the fans like imagine almost like fanship them or friendship them or whatever <laughs> whatever that term is. <laughs> friendship <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> right, <laughs> right? <laughs> and that they were they were yeah. such buddy buddy friends. And I'm like, that's that sounds really fun. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. And it and it does and it doesn't really affect the main story at all. Like if you don't watch, if you don't follow Twitter, if you don't watch any of the, the, the spin-offs of the of LBD, you can't tell that Fitz and Gigi are tight. Mm -hmm. It's not in those videos. It's not in the main videos. You have to actually go to the extensions to see that they're that they're really tight. And uh, and, and I just th think that was such a cool idea, like one of my favorite parts of that show where I'm like, huh, they they, didn't, they gave us that one too. Fans. That's all right. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Give you all that time. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, you so yeah. I mean, no one wants to say anything. You don't have to. Like, no pressure. But yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna miss all of you guys. Like, my entire job on Emma Approved has been talking to you guys. Um. And, still is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still have the oh, Pemberley Digital Twitter on my phone. But I mean, I, as much as I'm gonna miss. Uh, playing Nightly and Emma arguing back and forth and dating. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's my favorite. But, um, I'm going to miss talking to you guys. Uh, you don't know me, but I know all of you. <laughs> I stalked you on Twitter. So, uh, I'm going to miss this, this fandom. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Jesse? I'm just still really grateful for, like, being a part of, yeah. like, this story yeah. that was so important to me when I was, uh, when I first watched <laughs> it. had myself to nerd out to, <laughs> and I had no outlet, so I was really happy when Jessie brought me on, and she's like, hey, do you know this exists, and I had no idea, and then just started to just peruse endlessly. You might so. have binged the whole series in a day. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for all being just so awesome to work with, and I hope we continue to do it. So, yeah. Yeah. We're going to go this way, Paul. It's me. Yeah. Um, I, I, I just want to say, um, you know... I think obviously Emma lives in in the world and is obviously owned by everyone because it's public domain and it's a beloved story by so many people. So I kind of I just want to say thanks to the fans for letting us borrow it for a while Aww, and um, mm -hmm. and and letting us run with it and being so supportive and you know obviously Bernie and team and you know everybody that produced helped kind of guide that adaptation. But I think that we got to borrow that story for a while and the fans were all about it. So we really appreciate that. It was a lot of fun. Am I going? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 um, I just want to say uh, I'm extremely honored that, I, that I, uh, everybody who watches the show, uh, a fan of the show, uh, I got to follow it. And um, doing these works, the Emma, the Lizzie's, um, have been you know, some of the highlights of my life and my career. Uh, so uh, thank you. And uh, hopefully I'll get to see you guys again in something soon. Yay! Yeah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did it. And I'm, I'm, I'm that's the one that I was like, oh, I'm going to do it. 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 I'm going to do it
better. Yeah. <laughs> you still lifted on me, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, really. Um, <laughs> I just want to. I want to thank everyone for uh, number one um, accepting me as uh, Maddie Bates yeah, in this role nice. um, mm-hmm. and and loving me. At, because I want people to love me, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please know that I'm kidding about all of this. I'm not that person. But I just want to, but I just want to say thank you. Uh, this has been such a fun, fun ride. And I got to be silly. And I got to be basically myself, but not really. Because uh, I'm not annoying, I don't think. Uh, <laughs> but um, just thank you for accepting me. And all your comments and feedback. It, it was amazing. And I'm so sad, number one, because we don't get to do this anymore. But also, I'm gr- but I'm grateful for the, f- the friendships I made. Um, you guys are the most awesome, awesome sauce people <laughs> I have ever met in my entire life. I will never not know you. And I will never, and I will never not, like, wonder what you're doing or try to, con- you know, connect with you in some way or another. So thank you for being such an amazing cast. And, uh, you know, accepting me because I came in months later and you just took me in your arms and... into the modern setting and like what is that and it always really really like excites me to just like my bone marrow level <laughs> so, <laughs> to be no <laughs> um, for sure so like being a part of this was thrilling on so many levels and then um because of the exact shooting schedule to be like okay we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're, like it was like bring your a game and be artistically fulfilled in every possible way it was like <laughs> I was on fire. It was so much fun. It was just a great thing to be a part of, and I'm so thankful. It's like the theme. Yeah. yeah. Thankful. Yeah. Nice. Yep. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah. Because um, the, the, the guy behind the curtain for a lot of it. Yes. Actually, I do have a couple uh, stories. Like, I joined, since, like, I told you guys, like, when I joined in on um, Emma Approved and Lizzie Bennett Diaries, um, since, like, I guess, like, the start, um, I, have a, I have a completely different perspective. Like, I... It was, it's not to say that I'm a fan of the show. It's more like you're part of this, but you didn't know how big it was until yeah, it actually yeah. got made. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, I, got, I got a confession to make. I thought Lizzie Bennet Diaries, or like uh, Pride and Prejudice, was by the same writer as like Wuthering Heights. And then I was like, oh wait, it's not. So I have to like fix myself <laughs> So, um... Did you think the same thing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But overall, I just want to say thank you to the fans, and, you know, honestly, if it wasn't for you guys, I probably would not have had a job, and I will also <laughs> uh, the cast and crew, uh, and also Bernie, um, honestly, like, I I would never would have thought that I would be working on two different Emmy-winning shows, as well as amazing different storylines, and just learning over the years, as well as, um, uh, my first producer credit, is just was yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> All right, buddy. um, you know, like, just, Helping me develop over the years, just professionally, as well as you know, making these amazing stories that you just want to like catch up on, or just like revisit from time to time, just revamping. As well as um, I'm not sure if you, uh, as all, as all, most of you guys know, these 
pushing the boundaries on a lot of the tech or like the tech, uh, different types of storytelling on interactive and use the guy to talk to. Mm -hmm. So I just want to say thank you, Bernie, and thank you to the oh. cast and crew. Yeah. Yeah. I love you guys. Thank you like, guys. We love you. Like, yeah. Aww. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh gosh, what can I say that I don't know what to say? Are you saying that? Are you saying that? Oh no! <laughs> 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 months ago that I would be working on this show, I would have laughed and just be like, yeah, right. Like, <laughs> let's hire me. And like, so this has been fantastic. Um, mostly, I really, really want to thank, thank you everyone who was a patron for mm -hmm. this reboot. Mm -hmm. Like, we couldn't have done what we did without you guys and your support. And just thank you for being part of it because you really helped us with this. And yeah, that's the best I can say. And of course, all of you guys, like I guess mm -hmm. meeting all of you guys has been fantastic. And I really want to work on more things with you guys. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 Sure, sweet. Yeah. Um, well, I'm really grateful for the experience. I also was a huge fan of the show when it came on, and actually, it was like Bernie Sue and Lizzie Bennett Diaries and Emma Crew to like maybe want to be a filmmaker in the first Holy place. Holy crap! That's awesome. awesome. Wow. They wow. Made everything like, like that dream is now attainable, and then just to move to Los Angeles and then get a job for Bernie working on the show that I love so much like really means a lot. Wow. So, Cool. Thank you. I remember when we were, we were shooting that because the first thing we shot on the reboot was her in the in the, in the car. car. And, and I like, said, like, hey, what do you, how, how do you feel? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that, that moment was surreal. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Do you want to go last or do you want to go second to last? Oh, I'm going to go last. Yeah, like you, yeah, should, you should, like, should be on. Get in here. Come where do you want to go? Yeah. You want to sit? I don't know. I like where we were. You guys are trying to leave us. I'm just here. I'm just here. I'm just here. I'm create a window oh, for you. No, uh, okay, yes, yeah. You go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna start crying. I know. I already did a real ugly cry when we said goodbye after the end of the first season, and it's on camera. Oh, yeah, we should get that footage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pull it that was so. I think. Uh, I think first we have to thank okay. everybody from the beginning. So thank like so Jenny Powell for continuing to bring me in, Bernie Sue for making the show, and realistically for the Lizzie Bennet Diaries yep. for paving the way. Yeah, yeah. And, absolutely. Uh, opening this fan base up that allowed us to have a platform even to to kind of get to know most of you, uh, and then obviously to everybody here, it's been amazing. Uh, I think the one thing we've touched on many times is that everybody is like family, and uh, that's why we all came back for the reboot. Uh, that's all, why we all the reboot. The reboot. The reboot. The reboot. And that's why. Yeah. That's why we we all and we, we love all you guys. We're so happy and grateful for all the the friends you guys even made um, by interacting, like fans creating your own content and then just talking. And I think there were a lot of relationships that were built and developed because of this show on your end and our end. Our end. So we're very grateful. And now, Emma. Oh yes. boy, no uh, pressure. Oh, don't All do right. That. Don't do that. I'm not. I'm not. Do that. <laughs> I, said, I said it was funny. I joked earlier. I was like, I'm not going to cry. It's not, not, not funny. Shoot. Now she's going to cry. Um, well. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> And I got to um, have this experience, especially because, and Bernie knows this, what I know. when I first auditioned and I got the part, how scared I was and how, I, I had no confidence in this role, like how I was, like thought I would just not be this character at all. And so, from where I was five years ago to the re, oh, I'm sorry, would you say the reboot? Reboot. <laughs> uh, that we did uh, this past year has been personally the most incredible um, journey and experience that a girl could ask for. I love each and every one of you. I respect each and every one of you and everything that you've done and all the, the wonderful things that you did to make the show have the heart that it has. And I'm so glad you all came tonight. I <laughs> hear um, uh, And I'm so thankful to each and every one of you for 
I said this like at least a billion times tonight, but for the love and the support and uh, that's felt. Everything that you've done, we've received and we felt. And there's the love that um, is in this room right now. It's just incredible. So, um, damn. Mm. Thank you guys so much. I uh, am I'm very I sad that this is ending, but I'm so grateful for what it brought. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you guys. I love you all so much. Love yeah. you. Yeah. 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 I'm not crying, you're crying.